So let's start it off, man. We're going to do English. I'm going to try to see if the volume is good. Guys, if you're in the chat and the volume is oh, it's kind of funk, like, is it kind of wonky? Let me know with a thumbs down. But if everything else is good, then we can continue this, man. I know Link Master is in here, too. There's a lot less than the 80 from the first stream. Yeah, I know. So we have my man Professor Kukuri hitting me up. A lot of people like this guy, man. For more reasons than one. Hold on a second. Let me turn the TV off in the background, too. I got to make sure this is a clean experience. Let's start our fucking adventure, guys. I'm sounding just like some typical fucking PokeTuber, man. Choose my starter. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. Hang on now. Give me just a second. I'm excited about the music in this game, too. Hey there. Good evening. The day's finally come. You're moving to Alola. Alola's a region made of several islands. How's the audio sounding to you guys? Is it good? That could be the reason that the region is chock full of nothing but rare Pokemon. Yeah. There's no shortage of cool Pokemon out here in Alola either. My man Rockruff, though! That's my nigga Rockruff about to come out the Pokeball, man. That nigga is clean! He, I love that little nigga! I love him so much! What am, I guess it's a playing moon. I'm gonna get Lycanroc. You'll find him all over. In the Wait, no, I'm gonna get Lycanroc. I'm gonna get the um, werewolf form. In the grass, in the caves, in the sky, in the sea. Here in Alola, we love our Pokemon and we depend on them heaps, too. Some of us even battle with them and call ourselves trainers. Rockruff, can you wait till I'm done talking to play? Little well, nigga's sad. How dare you? How dare you, you asshole? <laughs> oh, low quality rip? Is the, how's the music? Is the music... What's up with the audio? It's a little low quality. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to figure out what the... Let me see here. Sorry about that, guys. I'm just gonna try to see if I can fix this shit. I don't know why it's a little choppy. Yeah, it's a little rugged, right? Is the audio rugged when we're on the home screen, or is it just when we're playing Pokemon? I think it's, I think it's just when we're playing Pokemon. I'll listen to the quality of this, and then this is okay. And then when we start the game, I don't know what the fuck that means. Maybe it'll go away. So let's just get through this introduction real quick. Hopefully, when we're in a more stable part, the game will play better. This might be a circumstance of the capture card. So, this is one part, you know, I watched Christine play through, and um, I just don't understand what the Pokemon Company expects of me in this situation, because, nigga, I'm not this black, but I'm not this light. So, which option do I choose? Am I Shofu black? I don't know, I don't, I don't know what to go for here, man. I, I, I'm a little befuddled by this, but... I guess we're gonna go with this nigga. I'm not sure for black, but that nigga looks like he's fuck. Like I'm, I'm not, nigga. I'm not from Puerto Rico, my boy. I'm a nigga. Like I got some darkness to me. Hold on, man. Like just the Pokemon come, Masuda. Let me just give you a shout out real quick, dude. Thank you for being so representative of all the different ethnical backgrounds that people have on the planet. You are covering all your bases with this one. You got complete white boy. We have straight up Aryan status, and then we have. Slight. What's the, even the difference, my nigga? I see no difference. Come on, you cannot tell me he is darker than him. It's impossible. Whatever. All right, spell out his name. So let's get our name in there. Hopefully, the audio quality gets better with time. Let's just get through this scene. Attic. Uh... All right. Play with the girl, you faggot. Fuck out of here, nigga. I'm, I'm a dude. I'm a nigga. I don't have a Vajra, okay? 10-4 good buddy. I love the I love the way Professor Kukuri speaks to you, man. He's real hip. He's cool. He's jive as hell. Yeah, that's a name that hits you like a thunderbolt out the sky. Woo! Okay. I like this nigga. So now when he says cousin, does that necessarily mean we're related to him? Is is it confirmed at all? I'm not sure what's up with the audio though, guys. Well hopefully it'll get better within time. The audio is fine, it's normal for a 3DS game. It might just be the case with that. I mean, I'm gonna try to turn it down, maybe. Maybe it's just, uh... Give me a second, guys. I'm gonna mess with the sound settings. This might be the culprit here, but hopefully this will fix it. Is this working? Is it good? Let me know if the audio is good, dudes. I 
I actually had seen this scene already, so it's not new for me, but maybe you guys haven't, so. That, that girl Lily, man. How in the hell do you find yourself in this situation? This is one thing that I haven't been spoiled to. Like, I don't know what the significance of this is, other than them trying to get her for a reason that we'll see soon. And that's the Aether Foundation, right? Look at that boy, man. What's he planning to do in this situation, dog? I mean, come on. Y'all know how this looks. I don't have to tell you. You you can already draw your own conclusions from this. Okay. The audio is really kind of fucky, though, isn't it? It's a little weird how bad it is. I'm going to try to adjust it just a bit more for you dudes. Make it bearable. This is just the intro cinematic anyway, so I mean, while there is plot being developed here, it's kind of the stuff that you'll be able to see easily. It's more of when we actually are in the game and, you know, encountering stuff. That's why I want the audio to be good. So in that scene, she got teleported away by whatever the hell was in her bag. I already know kind of what that is too, so... Now, one thing that I love about these games is that um, the time difference. So anytime it's daytime, in Moon, it's going to be nighttime, I think. And in Sun, it's going to be daytime in the daytime. Okay, in Moon, it's day when it's night. And it's night when it's day, right? Okay, I think I got it. Could anything be more soothing? The first, n the first evening spent under a Lola's calm moon. I feel like I can stay here all night. That's enough of that. Time to pack out these boxes. Meowth, that's right. Get Attica for me, would you? No, oh, he's and this is the I love this part, man. This is the cinematic effect that Pokemon Sun and Moon have now. This game has evolved, dude. We are no longer in those times where the cutscenes would play out in just seeing the little sprites encounter each other. We're actually getting full 3D models now, and they're interactive. We see their mouths moving. They have dialogue. It's just so insane. Look at the progression. Technology is an amazing thing. Look at my bitch ass sitting on the couch. The Meowth is... The Meowth is adorable. I hope we can use him actually at some point. I just find the concept of them bringing a Meowth all the way from Kanto and he's like kind of like the house pet. It's very, very cute. I, I can't lie. Alright, so what can we interact with in here? Not too sure. But let's just head outside and talk to moms real quick. I want to get my starter as soon as possible, man. I'm just ready to see what else this game has going for us. Since this intro, you know, I think Game Theory did this shit on their own end too. So it's not a bunch of new stuff. How's the audio, guys? Can you guys still hear the game music and whatnot? Are you pumped to meet some Pokemon? Of course I am. Let's get it started. By the way, why is mom looking so good? I mean, I, hey, hold on a second. Let's 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 pause for a minute right here. Mama kind of got it going on, all right? She's already in her Hawaiian spirit at this current moment. But, I mean, hey. All I'm saying is, nigga, nigga. She's on point. She's on fleek right now. We're living in the Alola region now. I'm sure Pokemon living in a place like this must be friendly, right? And from what I've seen of those Machoke, or those Machamps, man, yeah, they're real friendly around here. Is that the doorbell? It's gotta be Professor Kukui. Why don't you let him in? Is it Kukui or Kukri? I'm not sure. What's up, Meowth? His little animation's fucking adorable. One thing I kinda am a little torn about is that the D-pad can't be used. I can't remember if that was the case from X and Y or not. And look at this nigga Kukri! He's walking in here with his shirt open as fuck, chest all exposed. This man looks like he's on a mission to fuck. I don't trust you around my mom's dog. You better watch yourself around here, boy. You better watch yourself. What's up with the sound? Is it really? That is so weird to me. What the hell, man? I just don't understand why the audio is so fucking crazy when we're actually inside a moon. I don't get it. But you guys see what I'm doing, right? Like, like you know, the audio is just kind of crackly for some reason. I'm going to try to figure it out. Hey there, Etika. The name's Kukui. Okay, so Kukui. Nice to meet you, cousin. 
You gotta be tired after that long trip. Any jet lag at all? You sure are a long way from Kanto, and it's still nighttime out here. Professor Kukui, we just arrived yesterday. Oh shit, hey mom, I was just letting myself in. Oh, and call me Kukui, please. Welcome to Alola. Yeah, I still remember seeing you battle the Indigo Gym Leaders back in Kanto all those years ago, you know? Makes me wonder if this dude was ever encountered within Red and Blue version. Who knows? Every 3DS game varies in audio quality? That's just how Pokemon sounds, really? Ugh. I thought I knew a thing or two about battling, but these Kanto Gym Leaders proved me wrong. Guys, we've already seen this shit, so I'm not going to give it necessarily full plot attention. You know, we can watch Game Explain, or you know, any other person that gets early access previews to this. We're about to go meet the Island Kohuna real quick, and he's gonna give us our Pokemon apparently, so... Let's move forward with this shit, man. Don't take them on by yourself, they're crazy strong. I know the concept of gym leaders is kind of removed from this game, so... Already from there, we're starting off on a great foot, because everything now is a totally different formula, man. I love it. Attica, check if there's a different audio mode. Also, Etika, don't forget that the 3DS's settings also have a speaker setting. You may need to switch to stereo. Really now. I'm not sure if we'll be able to save the game at some point soon, but I'm definitely going to look into that shit. Alright, so we gotta go to our room and pick up some shit real quick. Let's do just that. What happened? The game can be saved now? Oh, okay. No, I didn't even realize that. Alright, let's save it up, and then let's mess with these settings. You can save, press X. Thanks a lot, Link Master. It's nice and being able to interact with you niggas. This nigga Kukri is um, NTRing your father, my dude. We have a dad in this game? This man is on his cuckold shit right now? Alright, so we are in the 3DS setting, so let's see if we can fuck with something. You just can't save during cutscenes. Thanks a lot for the tips, guys. You know, this is gonna be a raw, full, you know, well. Will it be full, full? I'm not sure, but this is going to definitely be a raw playthrough. Oh, don't look at the fucking system. Don't look at the fucking firmware. <laughs> that ain't a regular firmware, nigga. Uh, hold on. So, other settings, I'm guessing? And I think we have a sound setting. But look, the, the audio for the 3DS in this menu is totally fine. You don't hear any of that crackling shit. Sound. Surround sound. Let's make it stereo instead. Maybe this will make a difference, man. That's surround sound shit. But it may not change the fact that the audio won't improve. Hopefully it works. It's kind of crazy that the audio is perfectly good in everywhere else but Sun and Moon. So it's like you have all these incredible visuals and all this um, detail with the models, yet your audio was slacking, Masuda. That's, that's really what the situation is. Nobody cares about waiting anymore. At this point, Nintendo should just release the fucking game. I've never seen this intro before. It sounds a lot better though, guys. The audio is much better now, right? Whoa, Lunala! I never saw this cutscene. Or rather, like, this is the intro. That is amazing. Wow, nigga. This is so cool! Pokemon Moon, my nigga! <laughs> oh, shit! It worked. Whoa! Holy shit, are you seeing this? Wow! Hey! A nigga Gladian? Rockruff? Wishy washy? Oh, this is so crazy! I'm so excited for this, man! I know it sounds like I'm being some corny ass fucking YouTuber, some fucking tuber who's like over ecstatic for it, but man, Pokemon Sun and Moon, this is it! This is it, my boy! Oh, shit. Yo, something's just hitting me right now, dog. That excitement that I have whenever I pick off a new Pokemon game, I'm feeling it right here. Right here. And this music is just so amazing. Like, look, listen to this, man. Wow. They, they, they hit the magic on the head this year. I don't know what it is, but this is, this is even more euphoric for me than X and Y was. Wow. What an intro. How amazingly beautiful was that? Just jaw dropping. 
All right, let's continue. I, I don't want to see it twice in a row. And that's Lunala's cry, huh? So a couple of, well, not too many options here. Mystery gift, live competition. We ain't trying to go online, man. I mean, for obvious reasons. The audio is so much better now. Do you hear it? The audio is clean. Big shout out to the people that gave me the advice to get this shit working properly. No more crackling. We are solid, my niggas. No, we have to go and get something from our bag. This just sounds so amazing. If the audio is too loud, guys, let me know. Alright, so we have our hat and bag. At least we looking better than Chicken John. But those shoes- What the fuck are those, my nigga? We gotta change those kicks ASAP. If you- What are, the, what are those shits? This nigga is, is- Those don't have no shoelaces, my nigga. Are you- What is he wearing? Some Alolan Tims, my boy? Even Kukuri's kicks are better than that. Now why are you macking to my mom's, my boy? Really? What the fuck were those shits? You look ready for anything now. Have a good time out there. I'll be sure to have everything cleaned up and put away by the time you get back. Oh, I bet you will. That's a styling hat, cousin. Stop trying to finesse me, my nigga. I know why you're here. Meowth, you better get out the room, my boy. You better come with me. These niggas are about to fucking make this place turn the fuck up. Your mom there. Oh, God. Christine and I were laughing at this, too. The way he's like, your mom there. <laughs> like, what the fuck about it, my mom? What do you want to know, nigga? What do you want to know, Kokuri? <laughs> fuck. Let's go. Let's get going to Iki Town. Iki Town? Iki Town. Let's do it. Time to get a nice Pokemon from the island Kahuna. All right, let's go. Yeah, you better be going. You better walk out first, nigga. Um, Zim says he's married, boy. I don't give a fuck if he's married. That nigga, that makes it even worse. That boy, he's a milf hunter, man. That nigga Kukui, man. I don't trust him. He's gonna S rank your mom? Yo. Yo. Not me, nigga. This nigga looks so awkward when he runs and walks. Oh, I gotta go that way, Kukui. Alright, nigga, don't rush me, bro. As long as you ain't in my house. You better not walk your ass back in there. Now, this is more like it, yeah. Welcome to paradise, cousin. This is the Alola region. Folks here in Alola get along by living together with Pokemon and working together too. After all, you can go anywhere as long as you got Pokemon. Now let's head to the motherfucking Kahuna who's in Iki Town. Alright, man, let's do it. Kid, don't trust Kukui alone with your parents, I'm just saying. His wife is bad, really? You look like you're having a good time strolling in Alola. You better not mention a damn thing about no shorts. B to dash? Oh, you already knew that. Is there anything this way? This game is beautiful! Are you guys seeing this? The power of this nigga is still here, man. He's this. It's been it's been how almost 20 years, and this boy is still talking about technology in front of the hometown. Game freak, y'all never change, do you? Well, they change in a significant way for this game. Right, let's keep it going. Should I watch this from Perry? I don't know. Do you want to get spoiled, nigga? You live in, you love in Lola already? Hell yeah. Of course. Hey, a trainer's come to see what's up. Cookie, you gotta recommend another move. I ain't got time, motherfucker. Go learn on your own. Alright. Can we see a cutie patootie with a little Pikachu? The visuals on point in this game. The 3D work, everything. Well, the model work, I should say. And then one thing also, you hear the cries of the Pokemon a lot when you're in the field. And Cookie's. <laughs> Uh, Vitzel says in Kukui's place, I would fuck that mom as well. I don't care. Clearly you don't care. And we have an Alolan Meowth going against a Young Goose. I hope we be I hope we get to see this more often, like trainers actually battling and you're able to see their Pokemon out in the field. It's something that's existed since Gen 2, but in this context it's obviously a lot more stunning. You're the new kid, so already niggas have labeled me. Let's get moving to Iki Town, man. Is he playing on 3DS or PC? I'm on a 3DS capture card right now, as you can see. My boy. This music. This is Iki Town. This music is really setting the mood for me, man. 
This game is impressive for a Pokemon game indeed, man. This does this barely feels like Pokemon from all these visual increases. Like the, the, the upgrade to this is just wild. It's so much better than X and Y's visuals. Maybe they're all back on Milo Trail. What Pokemon did we just hear? Did we just hear Caterpie in the grass? Sounds like one. This is where the ruins of the guardian deity Tapu Koko are. Do me a solid and go find the Kahuna. I'll wait so we don't miss each other. Alright. You know, we've seen this, we've been through this, so let's just hurry it up. Where's that Kahuna at? Arrow says, spoiler, you become uh, the champion at the end of the game. And really? Wow, what a surprise. And there goes Lily, man. What's that girl doing? Really, you want to go up to the ruins? I don't know what you hope to find up there. So the little nigga is actually able to, like, speak to her? Like, telepathy or some shit? Let's go see what she's doing. It's late night. Cuties like that shouldn't be walking around by themselves. But then again, Alola's probably a real safe region anyways. Phantom Z2, you're out, man. Take care. Sorry, it sucks the game leaked, but... Can't let that ruin the experience. Even though that's pretty much the basis of what the league is in the first place. You can't come out. We'll get in trouble if anyone sees you. Take a wild guess as to who the hell that is. Feel better, Phantom. Oh, she's still running from Aether. Okay. There's that nigga Cosmog. This nigga's happy as hell. It's actually an adorable little Pokemon when you really look at him. And just like in the first season, the first episode of Pokemon ever created, niggas are getting harassed by these fucking Sparrow. You know, like we're on a bridge and shit. It kind of reminds me of Fire Emblem Fates. And how that nigga fucking Gunther dies when he falls off the... My bad. You, you didn't just hear that, okay? And we have Lily. How you doing, baby girl? Looking distressed as usual. She never has a happy face on, does she? What's wrong? Save Nebby. Christina and I... Oh, he looks so cute! He's so scared! Look at his little face! Cosmog is adorable! Look at this little nigga! Those Sparrow are attacking it, but I'm too afraid to go out there. My legs feel like they might give out. So she really ran... Even though she teleported on the bridge when she was being chased by Aether, she... still... was running after her. Alright, let's go, man. It's just a creaky-ass bridge. Nothing to be worried about here. Damn, he's so adorable. Don't hurt the little nigga. Nigga, you just fucking... Doesn't that look like, um... That dude Neji from Naruto? How he uses the, um... The rotation thing? My man Tapu Kalko coming in, saving the day. Why does Tapu Koko look like he'll beat a nigga's ass at any moment? Just the way that his stance is? Look at, look at Cosmog's face! Nigga was like... <laughs> Cosmog's like... Like, you saved me, nigga. That is adorable. Pew! Thank goodness. You tried using your power again, didn't you? Oh, Nebby. You know what happened last time you used it? You couldn't move for ages after that. I don't want to see you like that again. And again, I shouldn't say that. Sorry, Nebby. I know you were trying to save me that time. And I couldn't even help you in return. Aww. It's okay. Although he's technically the one that fucked up. No sparrow came after his ass. Pew pew. <laughs> A sparkling stone. It feels almost warm somehow. And please forgive me. Are you gonna tell me your name? I'm so grateful for you helping us out of that dangerous spot. I think this stone... You're not even going to tell me your name. I just saved your little Pokemon.
So I wonder what made those Spearow come to attack him in the first place. I mean, have you guys... <laughs> you know when you use a baby Pokemon in previous games? And it's really hard for you to run away from wild Pokemon battles because it's a baby Pokemon and its speed is so low. So anytime you use like a Togepi or an Elect Kid or any of those or a Cleffa, you always get your ass handed to you because you can't escape. That's probably the same factor that caused that little Cosmog to get his ass beat. Have you looked at that nigga's stats? Yeah. And you want me to accompany you back to town. Okay, I'm doing you a bunch of favors. You're lucky, you're lucky. You're lucky I'm a nice guy, and I figured that I didn't want to see your little Pokemon get fucked up. You have... You, you, I'm on my Good Samaritan shit right now. This nigga just moved to Alola, and already he's saving little babies and helping damsels in distress. My boy, he's on his game right now. And Professor Kukui, oh god, don't trust this nigga. Lily, get the fuck out of here. I don't trust this nigga, okay? I love that we're hearing the Pokemon's cries in the actual wild. Erika, looks like you missed the kahuna, but you found my assistant. Oh, so this isn't their first time encountering each other. So he's already been in it. Okay, he's already been putting in work. This is my assistant. Call me Lily. Those are Caterpies that I'm hearing in the background. The cutscenes! Oh my god, Link HD! I agree with you. I love the cutscenes, dog. Erika just moved to Alola. Take care of him. You have to ensure that I have a good time in Alola. You're also one of the professor's acquaintances. Nice to meet you. Just show me where Misty is, man, and I'll be fine. And the big kahuna has returned back to Iki Island. Or rather, Iki, Iki Town? Iki. Only the strongest Pokemon users. One of the strongest. Big nigga on campus. That boy is bossed up. Have I missed something? Nah, but, <laughs> nah, nah, Kukui is so cool, that nigga is down. I thought we were meeting here. I am the kahuna of this island. Wherever there's a problem on the island, it's my duty to resolve it. Big nigga holler, right on deck, man. Sorry, Lily, what were you saying before? For some reason, I thought I saw Tapu Koko flying about. Does he, like, is Tapu Koko his Pokemon? Or is it, like, he works with him, but he doesn't really, like, you know, that's not really, like, his Pokemon, you know? I don't know. Bridge collapsed and I thought they might fall to the bottom of the ravine. And the deity came through. He's rather fickle, yet our guardian was moved to save you. My Kukuri, my boy, you see my man Hala? He's already on top of the of the lingo. Of the EWN, man. He said my boy. It seems I must entrust this brave and kind young boy with a Pokemon of his own. We'll make a fine trainer out of him. He's from Kanto after all. You know Kanto is where boss niggas be living with Pokemon shit, right? Kanto's boss. I'm glad I met you, child. I'm Hala. The um, is that, am I saying it correctly? Hala. Welcome to Alola. Young Kukui told me of your coming. I'm glad we had the chance to meet today. And come, my Pokemon. Let's have a look at you. Hey, it's time, my niggas. They're all cute. I wish I could take every single one of them, but you know that's not the way it is in Pokemon. First is Rowlet. Cool. Rowley, you won this you won this battle from the beginning, man. Next is Layton. You're still adorable as fuck. And then Poplio, I loved you from the beginning too, but a lot of niggas don't fuck with you. But you my nigga. Bork? <laughs> Bork? <laughs> what the fuck? Why is there a question mark there? Which Pokemon will you choose as your partner? No question whatsoever. Lee Poplio. And I don't think he's a damn shame, man. That nigga Scoot don't know what he's talking about. Yes, we will. You chose Poplio. Welcome on board, my nigga. Only when you have both chosen each other can you truly call each other partners. So it's like a... Oh, this is like a little ritual. Okay, at this point, I have not seen anything else past this. So everything from here will be a new experience with Pokemon Moon. Let us see if little Poplio there also decides to choose you. You better? Where the fuck are you gonna go without me? They both look fucking clueless as hell. Poplio is gazing at you quite sweetly. He's... Really? What's wrong? You better not play no games. I'll put your ass back for Riley without... Okay, okay. Alright, we're good. That is fucking adorable as hell. 
Bork Bork. He seems to be preening a bit. Aw. He's accepted me too. I like to hear that. That's nice. A nickname. I just want to check the gender through the nickname. And we got a boy pop, Leo. Oh well, Primarina. We gonna we gonna we gonna have a, a a pretty queened out Primarina, but it's all good. I don't care, man. We'll we'll keep it moving. Nice to meet you, Pop Leo. And Cosmog's welcoming us too. No, oh, when'd you get out again? <laughs> this nigga's on his Psyduck shit with Misty. I know the Kahuna Kala and the Professor will keep you safe from harm, but you should still stay in the bag and out of sight. I think you chose a good Pokemon. The internet doesn't believe that. Now you got a Pokemon, you're a real trainer, yeah. And here's a lovely gift from me to make it special, cuz. What's this? What's this? <laughs> a Pokedex. A po Can I get a what's this in the chat, please? <laughs> if you understand the reference. Uh, we know what a Pokedex is, Kuki. Thanks for the thanks for the memo, though. I'm just trying to see when the hell we get that Rotom Dex. Your new partner, Poplio, is already registered, so here. And a passport. Nice. So go introduce Poplio to. <laughs> what's this? <laughs> that, that. <laughs> All right. So now we have to head back to mom's. Let's check out my nigga Poplio real quick. Save the game first off. Is this even saving the game? What the hell was that? Give your Pokemon tender love and care. Pent them gently and make them very affectionate towards you. Give Poke Beans. Pokemon love to eat them. And you can get them in the cafe in any Pokemon center. Okay. I think I might have to change the camera angle for this. Pokemon can get dirty when they battle. When that happens, make them clean with the grooming tools. It also heals status conditions such as poisoning or paralysis. You can switch the Pokemon you care for. Pokemon that become very affectionate will battle with zest. Make a lot of Pokemon affectionate towards you. Aww. Okay, I think I'm actually going to change the camera angle. This is... Hold on a second. Is the audio good, guys? Like, is it too quiet or is it, you know... I prefer the audio to be a little bit louder than normal. Oh, I'm just gonna change a couple things here. What's up, Bobbio? You chillin', my nigga? You such a good little Pokemon. All right, so we're gonna put the top. That's gonna be the bottom. No, it's gonna be the top screen. Top screen. There we go. All right, so at least now I'll be able to. Um, Actually, switch the scenes around. Oh, he fell asleep. So they can get bored and decide that they're not gonna fuck with you anymore. All right, let's save the game here. Right, that was pretty quick. So now, if we do this, we can head straight to the um, top screen just to see what you know, just in case we need to like highlight something. Um, let me see here. Also, I want to do something like that for the bottom screen. Although, I don't think we would really need the bottom screen in full view a lot of the time. But, hey, why not? Just to have the options. It's perfect. Don't change it. Okay. Okay, let me just save the... My, let me just save my layout here, too. Sponsor stream. Save the game there. Let me see what the bag layout is, also. Bag. We have 5,000 yen right now, so... Sparkling stone. Okay. We got my man Poplio right there. What, what, what kind of what kind of stats are we looking at here, with you, man? The music is so amazing in this. Is it is it the same when you're in sun? Like the same calm undertone, or is it more energetic? What nature are you? How do I check nature? Where is it at? Jolly nature. So you're speedy. That's not going to benefit us in the slightest. You're slow as fuck. Oh, he's jolly. Jesus. Doesn't that boost speed and take away from special attack? This Poplio nigga. Oh, God. Damn. Str strong will. Okay, that's great and all. But yeah, our starter already. We Special attack is the stat that he is supposed to be really good at. This music is blowing my mind. Holy shit. It's, the music is amazing, dude. Is my audio good? Then we, then we should be alright. Let me just make sure it's alright. Our, our starter already, we... Special attack is the stat that he... 
is supposed to be really good at. Wow, the music is really good volume right now. So we're going to keep that there. This Poplio is a goddamn mess. The nighttime themes are always more tranquil. You said it yourself. Um, how many of you guys remember in Pokemon Diamond and Pearl when you're at the Pokemon League? And uh, hold on, the Pokemon League music goes like... I listen to that whenever I want to zen out, man. That song just, it speaks to me, dog. And especially when it's the nighttime version. That, <laughs> memories. Anyways, let's head back to Mama real quick and show her our Pokemon. What's poppin' bees? I see you guys. What's up in the chat? He's a disappointment. Erase him from Fallen Child Kara. My man, how? Hey, you and me, let's have a Pokemon battle. This nigga's our rival. Where's the fire, boy? What kind of Pokemon battle would it be when you ain't even got a name first? You ain't even giving a nigga a name. Why do I look so vacant? Fair enough, I'm how, and my partner is Litten. The Papio looks really cool too. Thanks? <laughs> Thanks? Yeah, so let's battle. Alright, fuck it, nigga. You wanna get that ass bust? I'll, I'll, I'll give you the work. I'll give my nigga how the work. I couldn't wait to find you in Iki Town, so I've been looking all over for you. I don't really wanna see battles with Pokemon get hurt, but I'll watch for you. I, I, I'll cheer, okay, why not? Hey man, I got a cutie patootie and Professor Kukri on my side, man. This nigga's about to catch some work. That's his grandson? Hala, wait, Hala is the grandfather of how? Okay. Well, let's do it, man. You really want this work, my nigga? You can catch it. I don't give a fuck if I'm brand new over here. You will battle me. I know you will, right? Yeah, and I won't lose. Let's fucking do it. First battle against that boy how? The 3D models in this game are so sick. Bring it on, nigga. <laughs> Bitch ass lady. I'll soak the shit out that nigga. Let's go, Pop. Pop, he's such a. He's such a fucking G. The nigga comes out. He comes out like. <laughs> the nigga's like, yo, I love this nigga, Pop. Yo. Look, he saw the way he did it. The nigga come out like. <laughs> I love that shit. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna love this game. Every, everything has so much personality now. The menu looking. Goddamn sick. And we already have water gun on, but we already have water gun on deck. Nigga, it's over. How? I don't know what you're doing. I'm a jolly nature, I should be faster. Oh, both of our speed sucks. Again, hit him again with it. The funky guitar? I know. Isn't isn't the music great in this? It's over, nigga. Good night. Nice. Whoo! Ah! All you got is a hundred yen on you, my nigga. Like a hundred poker dollars? Isn't that like only a dollar in the in the real world? A hundred yen is like one U.S. dollar. That gave me chicken skin. Etika, right? Your papio was awesome. Wait a minute. He's our rival, but he actually chose the Pokemon that's weak to ours. That's not usually the case with rivals, is it? Don't the rivals always choose the one that's stronger? That's kind of weird. Litten is the fastest out of the three of them? Oh god, is it? Litten is actually the fastest. And it's not even all that fast. Give me the sparkling stone that you got there. His face is so dumb. My, the trainer. Our face. Could it be? You were rescued by Tapu Koko. Yeah, it rescued me. I should have said the other option. Kukui, stop trying to put in work with Lily, my nigga. Give me a chance. Give me a chance, man. She's way out of your age range, dog. Like, that's more That's more potential for me. Like, nigga, come on, bro. I saved her. Not to mention, you know, I mean, you know, not to say that, you know, she's automatically supposed to be my property or some shit, but, you know... Kukuri, man, you already got him. I know you put in work, nigga. You just, just, just back off. Back off, nigga. Jesus. Perhaps you are here in Alola because you are meant to be here. Allow me to borrow the stone for now. So now I'm getting robbed. Alola is not, it's not being good to me right now. I just got on the motherfucking island. All this drama already. You got the makings of a fine trainer. And we got a festival tomorrow. Okay.
Aw, oh, little, little Cosmog. Is he still in the bag? This little nigga keeps popping out the bag. Why you got that fucking big ass smirk on your face when you know people are out to get that ass? People gonna make, they gonna take them pom poms and beat the shit out of you with them. Oh, would you try to escape the very moment that you were told not to wander off? God damn it. Little ass Cosmog ass nigga. He's like, what? <laughs> I'm not doing anything wrong. I just want to see you outside. <laughs> Please. I didn't. Oh, little Poplio comes out of the Pokeball. That is adorable, nigga. That is so adorable. Precious Pokemon. Yeah, sure. This thing sucks. <laughs> Fucking Poplio, man. I mean, we're being real with each other, man. If we're going to be best friends, Poplio, your stats suck. I think. So what kind of Pokemon did you get? <laughs> Don't keep me waiting. I got a little fucking Poplio that has a jolly nature, even though its speed is ass, and because of the jolliness, it loses special attack progress. Fuck me. This thing can't be physical. And him and Meowth about to beef? Oh, I think I'm falling in love. So why did you choose this, sweetheart? Because I was trying to be a fucking internet hipster. Because it's cute. Mom's like, well, you picked right, because I'd say this little charmer is definitely cute and cool. Kukui trying to fuck, man. This nigga is always trying to smash something, man. Kukui, get the fuck out of here. He's like Brock, but actually able to progress. You look great together. I just feel happy looking at the pair of you. Huh? Well, me, I was like, what's up? Bark? <laughs> Why is this Poplio always so confused? He's like, what? <laughs> nigga, you know that nigga Nick Young, the meme? He's like, <laughs> nigga Poplio, like, Bark? <laughs> what? <laughs> This Pokemon bar? This Pokemon's a fucking drunk from Daft. <laughs> this Pokemon is a drunk and drunk art ass nigga. Bark? Bar? Papio, man, you trying to take shots? What a stunning sunset. Alright, today's the day that I finally unpack. Was that the doorbell? Let's see who it is. Meowth, I hope you're able to join our team too. He's such a little cutie pie. Drunk Leo? <laughs> shot Leo? Maybe <laughs> my nigga Pop Leo? That's Shot Leo right there, nigga. Talking about a bar? <laughs> you wanna go to the bar, little nigga? Well, the Pokemon refresh. Let's check this out. Let's check this out. What's up, Pop? Oh, you know, you can't see him from that angle. I gotta get a screen for the Pokemon refresh thing. Let me see. What's up with you, man? We're about to go fire on them Fate's petting room in this bitch. Touch that little nose. What up, Pop Leo? Cute ass little nigga. What's up? You wanna go to the bar? I know you wanna go to. Oh, he doesn't. Damn, you saw how fucking pissed he got? Did you see how pissed the nigga got when I touched his little ruffle? Look at how pissed he was. Damn, my bad. <laughs> Why? Right, fuck you then. <laughs> fuck you then, nigga. Goddamn. That boy got pissed. Jesus. He got fucking pissed, nigga. Don't touch Poplio on the little ruffle, nigga. He'll fuck you up. All right, so let's answer the door. Let's keep. Let's not keep the nigga away. You got some groceries. Of course, Mama got groceries. Don't get close to me. It's Kukri. What a surprise. Hey, it's about time we set off for that festival. But first, I gotta show you something. Come with me through Route One. Let's go. I love the way the Meowth runs, too. It's like so aggressive, and plus it's on t it's two legs, so it's just like... Yeah, I'm a cat, but you know, I walk around with two legs, no problem. Me and Meowth will be sure to unpack every last box here. You see. You and Meowth? What the hell is this dude gonna do? He can't unpack anything. He's a little kitty cat. I love how when you're walking around, everybody just looks at you. Sleep does the body good. Traveling is true education, and unpacking will be the death of me. You need to hire. You need to hire some help. Actually, you know what? No, you're good by yourself. That nigga Kukuri, he tried to come over and give you some help. That boy's gonna do some fucked up shit. Hurry it up, cuz. Pretend you're a Pokemon and use agility. Whoa, how fucking clever, Kukuri. How long did it take you to come up with that one? Am I the first person to use that? Attica's house. Why is my mom not like? It's not my house. I don't own that shit. I ain't trying to be posted up here. Is my little Poplio alright? A little jolly ass Poplio? Okay, he's good. 
as we go. So we're seeing things on a different at a different time during the day. So he's gonna show us how to catch wild Pokemon now. So you know wild pokes will jump at you in tall grass. You got Poplio, and you can not only fight wild ones, and you can catch them. Woo! Rick Flair in this bitch. I want to show you how to catch a wild Pokemon. Let's do it. Hopefully you don't start up any huge glitches like that nigga in red and blue does. This music, yo! Yo, this music, man. I know, I know. The music is lit. Make sure the volume is good. We got Poplio, and you can not only fight wild ones. Okay, we're good. Okay, we're good. My bad. I just want to make sure. I'm just gonna leave the audio at this level for now. Yep, so we know how to catch them, blah, blah, blah. Yes. Yes, thank you very much for the tutorial, Goopy. What's this? We're set. What Pokemon are we going to encounter first, man? Are we about to catch that young goose? Why don't you have a little adventure on your own? Take care um, take good care of Etika, Poplio. Oh, yeah, Poplio can't even take care of himself with a fucking jolly-ass nature. And our first Pokemon's a picky pack. Let's just catch your ass real quick. If it was a shiny picky pack from the start, wow. Wow. Alright, he's trying to redeem himself. He knows he's he knows he's a little bit of a fuck up with his nature, so that boy's trying his best to get on my good graces. Getting critical hits on picky packs and shit. You know that don't really matter, though, Poplio. And what's this? Yo, those intro cinematics. God damn. You run through the grass and you see... Yo. Alright, young goose. I'm fucking with you. This time, let's not fucking completely decimate him. Young goose, mean mug, grubbin, I'm the plug. And we have a Pokeball button there. It's better work. There we go. Young Goose, Mean Mug, Grub in, on the plug. There we go. Young Goose, Mean Mug, Grub in, on the plug. Alright, we're good. Sorry about that again, guys. This time, I gotta make sure that this shit is clean. So... Wow, that animation! Are you seeing this? That is so fancy. It wanders around in a never-ending search for food. At dusk, it collapses from exhaustion and falls asleep on the spot. God damn. Oh, you can actually move it around here. This Pokedex is... I like it. It's more hands-on. It's more interactive. Nah, you good. We get into the party, my nigga. Call him president? Oh, God. Nah, let's avoid that for now. What up, young goose? And we got a trainer, right? You wanna catch this work, little boy? You can catch the work, my nigga. It's fine. How did you do it? These 3D models, dog. 
Oh man, this this game's gonna fuck me up just based on the music. And he's got a rat attack. A lowland ass. You still look like shit. How the hell this nigga got a fucking he's it, my mustache looks better than his does. Oh, and when the Pokemon doesn't attack, the trainer is like, yeah, get him. That is badass. Oh, I used Growl by accident. Oops. No one gives a fuck about status moves this early in the game. Oh, so what is this option on the bottom screen here? Oh, okay, this is where we get more information about what their current ailments are, or like their stat totals. And this is because we get we growled at him, so he has uh, a drop in his attack. That's so fucking cool. The fact that it documents it, you know, makes life a lot easier. Let's go, Papio. So his attack 13. You know the. This doesn't make a difference right now, but when he gets older, that's where it's gonna suck. And by the way, just look at the environment, man. Like, you see the clouds in the background move. I mean, like, this is so much detail. So much fucking detail. But you did look me in the eyes, man. Don't worry, you'll be good. Let's. Wow, look at that. That is amazing. And we have a cutie patootie already, man. And a Caterpie. I knew I heard your cry. I'm trying to catch everything, man. I think if I use a water gun at this point, it's gonna fuck him up. Don't money shot me, nigga. The Pokeball shortcut button is sick. It's so sick. No more going into the bag. You can immediately throw a Pokeball right there. These little itsy bitsy time savers are part of what makes the convenience of new gens of Pokemon so amazing. The little stuff like that. That's where it really counts. Abigail says, I always go for catching everything as early as I can. Yeah. I'm probably going to put off catching everything on camera though. I can just go back and do it, but I really want to progress with the story. Maybe a little Caterpie. I didn't even get to read his description. Whoops. Oh, my bad. Capture card is fine. It's just the magnet came out. All right, cutie. I'll show you my sister who I'm super close to. Okay. Let's meet your sister. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an asshole. I'm an asshole. Don't listen to me. Let's go, Pop Leo. Let's send her straight to hell. Finish him with a water big gun. Audrey. Sorry, I don't give a damn if you're cute. You can still cast the business, Audrey, okay? Get the fuck out of my face. My Pokemon. Papa caught her for me when I was born, so she's always with me. Oh, she was referencing the Pokemon when we were in that battle with her. The girl is cute. Yeah, I know, and plus, you know, a little brown skin cutie patootie. I like that. Peaky Peck. Let's run from this. So are we heading to Iki again? Because Professor Kukui said have your own little adventure on your way to get into uh, Iki, Iki Town. Iki Town? My man Young Goose, Mean Mug. This is the best region. I agree, man. I'm having a great time with this so far. I love how the trainer is involved too. Like the. Tra 
It's like some Yu-Gi-Oh shit. Yo, what a gun! I'm just trying to level him up a little bit. Um, your grandfather says Game Freak wasn't slack in this gen when it came to making cute, cutie pie characters. Indeed. They made a bunch of cuties in this game, though. And you know, like, I'm not trying to be biased either. Like, they made attractive girls in this game, and the dudes. I mean, look at the professor for crying out loud. I mean, the nigga's a heartthrob. There's no other way to look at it. Everybody in Alola has got a lot going for him. So, what the hell is this? Alright, we just gotta wait for later on. Did the signs say anything when you interact with them? Route 1, the number one route on the spectrum. We're a long way from Kanto, my boy. More tutorial stuff. I'm hearing a bunch of Pokemon cries. Let's grab an item over there. Mm -hmm. This music. I'm getting sun. Let me let me get an S in the chat if you're getting sun. An M if you're getting moon, guys. All right, we're a little bit weak right now. That, that young goose is kind of strong. I think it's level four. James, you getting both of them? I feel you, man. It seems like both of them could be an individual experience on their own, and due to the night and day thing. And then you have the exclusive Pokemon, but there's not that many. I know for a fact, even though I chose Moon, I don't know if I like uh, Lycanroc's Moon form as much. I think I might want to get the Sun one. Christine has um, Sun version installed on her 3DS right now. So if I ever need to, I'll just get Lycanroc in midday form from her game. Because he's a lot better than um, Lycanroc slow form with the, um, the werewolf. I mean, the werewolf is really cool aesthetic-wise. I love the design, but he's not that fast. And 7th gen... There's not that many fast Pokemon, so I think it's beneficial to just go with some faster option in this situation, but I'm definitely going to use the Night Form as well. Let's save the game here. So we're hearing some kind of uh, bongos going on. Hopefully that's the right instrument that I just mentioned. Actually, can we refresh them? Can we refresh them and give them some HP with that? I'm seeing a lot of S's in here. A lot of people are into... <laughs> I'm seeing an S and M in there. What's going on, Poplio? How you doing, baby? You chilling, my man? Oh, we have a bunch of these Poke Beans. Let's get one. That's adorable. You don't want any more? You're such a good little Poplio. Yeah, take one more, nigga. You're too adorable for this shit. Does it still do that thing from X and Y where they- Oh, that's adorable! He's like, oh, This is adorable! He's- Oh, this- Alright, let's not piss him off. Let's just fucking- you know, rub your little nose. Let me get that little flipper. Come here, bring the little flipper right here, you cute little son of a bitch. Aww. Let me grab that ear. Let me grab that little ear. It's just when you it's so hilarious how pissed he gets. Look at his fucking face when he touches Ruffle. That that look is like, nigga, really? It looks like he's about to beat my ass, nigga. This rubby little belly. Why am I having so much fun with this? This should not be the case. Hey, let's switch it out. My little nigga young goose. What's up with you, nigga? You little presidential elect. Oh, he doesn't even want to fuck with us. Hey, man, what's up? Been that ass here. How you doing, young goose? Oh, you like that? Let's see here. What do you not... He likes his butt getting rubbed? Wow. Young goose, I see you now. I see what's up. I guess he doesn't really have a bad place that you can rub him. Here you go, little buddy. Let's give you a motherfucking poke of bean. I'm having too much fun with this shit. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? No, no, you ain't getting it. You ain't getting it. What you gonna do? He looks so angry. You little presidential elect. What you gonna do? This is adorable. Look at his mouth. Here you go. All right, I won't torture you. All right, we're done. 
Let's see what the hell those drums were. He's such a cutie pie. Hold on, um, I want to make a screen for that. I really want to make a screen for the, um, Pokemon, for the Pokemon, uh, petting room thing. Let me see, how could I do this? I'm going to open this here. Give me a second, guys. Sorry if you're watching this on YouTube after the fact. I just want to make sure that the stream is able to, you know, have some different perspectives in it. Hold on, I'm going to close that. Um, I'm going to take the bottom screen from here. Copy and paste it over here. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Mm, there we go. I think that's okay. Actually, let's go back into the room. I just want to make sure this looks good. Let's switch out Young Goose. Me Mug. Then get a Ludicolo with Brick Brick. You guys are talking strategies in the chat? Little Pop Leo. Oh, he's sleeping. Wake your ass up, nigga. What the fuck you doing? Wake that ass up, man. Hold on. Oh, he's sleeping. Wake your ass up, nigga. What the fuck you doing? Wake that ass up. Alright, audio seems like it is good there. Hold on, Pop Leo, almost done here. Really want to get this thing looking good. Wait a minute, the camera... Does this change when you, like, use the gyroscope feature? Darth... Darth, you're out, man. Is this just gonna be Pokemon? Yeah, it's just gonna be Pokemon in this stream. Probably gonna end it in, like, a good 30 minutes to an hour. There we go, I'm gonna put you in the middle there, Papio. And then... Yeah, that seems good. Hold on, give me a second, Papio. And now I'm gonna take my screen and make it kinda small. Don't, no, don't go to sleep yet! Wake your ass up! I'm gonna move this over here. Let's paste that there. I'm gonna make this really, really small. There we go. And now let's get the top screen in there as well. I'm gonna move this on here. Top screen's gonna be up there. And uh, that should be good. Alright guys, so we have a little bit of a raw layout for it. This is, this is kind of raw, but I mean, hey, it's whatever. So take a look at what this is. This is the way it's gonna look whenever we get in here. It's not the it's not the greatest, but at least it's something. So you can see it in a bit more detail, and I still have my face cam involved to an extent. So you know, let me know what you guys think in the chat. Etika, you should play Metal Gear Solid 5 sometimes. It's really fun, your commentary would make you great. That's not the first time I've heard that, man. So I mean hey, maybe we'll give it a try. What do you guys think? This layout might not be the greatest, but it's something. That's all we got. Anyways, let's get back to the actual game itself. Cause you know, I can get lost in this fucking Pokemon on me type stuff. I don't want that to be the case. Alright, I'll interact with you later, little Poplio. Poplio's tired of those donation streams. That little nigga's fucking bored as hell. And our Pokedex is still not rolling down, so... Let's see what the deal is. Oh, that's a trainer! When you get close to the trainers, their eyes start to... The screen gets all dark. You want this work, nigga? Hey, please battle me. Ooh. No problem at all, little nigga. I got you. I think our HP is kind of low. Winter, you said Samurai Kagura Burst? I did finish Burst on my own, and I started to play Deep Crimson, but the game didn't stick with me. It's kind of a different style, and I mean, it's alright. I'll probably play it later, later, but right now, Deep Crimson, nah, it's kind of unreserved. I really did, I was thinking about playing it on screen, but I don't know. Alright. Young Goose. Let's fuck him up real quick. Disarming voice, he learned a new attack. 
Okay. What does this do? The hell was that? How frightening. The user does emotional damage. Look at look at this move's description. Emotional damage, my nigga? That's kinda fucking <laughs> it's kind of extreme. The attack never misses. Okay, it's one of those attacks. Like swift. Pound this nigga. You're so strong, please go away. I don't know, though. We on an island, maybe. There's nowhere to go. And there's an item over there, but I think I'll go back and get that later. This is the festival. Considering it was a critical hit on Trump, you probably told him that the wall wouldn't happen. Oh, that's a good... <laughs> <laughs> nice. The Alola region is made up of four islands, each with a guardian of its own. So they're giving thanks to that nigga Tapu Koko with this festival. It's just a little thing that you see here. There's not a lot of us, but at least each and every single one of us goes all out. So if this is a festival, then this is where I want to be, nigga, because we going in for Tapu Koko. And don't worry, my little nigga Paplio looking for that bar? This is, a, this is the place for us. What's up, niggas? A little rock rock. I cannot wait till I can catch a rock rock. Even though it seems like it's more of a common Pokemon to find in Alola, like it's not really that rare, but something about it is so fucking cute. And I didn't really like rock rock when we saw it get revealed in Koro Koro, and even when in the trailers, rock rock was like, nah, okay. But for some reason, when you actually see these Pokemon in motion, it could change the way you feel about them entirely. Primarina in the leaks, I was like, man. But seeing it in play, like the battles, I was like, it's a good Pokemon. Thought you'd never make it. We've been waiting. Your little Litten? The, the little nigga wants work. I'll give it to him. What's going on tonight? My nigga, my nigga Kukri and Lily. Right on time. But to what exactly? A little Cosmog trying to start some trouble again. A festival for battling. And we battle in the name of Tapu Koko. Pitting our best moves against one each other in friendly comp um, competition to please our guardian. Woo! I know Koopy, man. I could drink with that nigga. He'll take some shots with me. Right. Lily, it's funny that you say that, but I think you have the pre-evolution to one of the most overpowered Pokemon in the goddamn game. Your Pokemon have fought for you, Etika, so show the same care in return. And let's heal him up. So those potion were somewhat of a waste. Are you ready for this battle already? So I'm, I'm battling my man Hala? Already? Okay. The nigga wants to work, I'll give it to him. I love that point in Pokemon where a million Poke Dollars really is a small loan. The Trump references are endless in this game. And as for those who undertake the island challenge with joy in their hearts, we pray for your protection. There's a little, there's a little Pikachu for them and all Mele Mele. May this Pokemon battle be an offering to our island's Diri Tapu Koko. Before you stands how the grandson to the Kahuna. Damn, this is really kind of serious now. Jesus. Before him stands Etika, the one who has met with Tapu Koko. Why do I walk like such a dumbass? Like, at least you saw how Hao was just mad chill with it. He was he was cruising. My ass had to. <laughs> what a curious little thing Tapu Koko is. That's just typical of it. Paplio, take care of Etika. As long as we both have a good time, I think we can call it a great battle. But I busted your ass before. Now, now, Hao's skin tone is more of my skin tone. Why couldn't I choose something akin to him? It, what, there ain't no niggas in Kanto? Is that the problem? Let's bust his ass real quick. Wow. Wow, I just got a crazy thing 
Wow. Someone in, um... You guys know who creates Senren Kagura games? Marvelous? They just hit me up. The nigga has a Pichu now? Okay, so what? I don't give a fuck. Wait a minute, do you see how the people in the background looked? Oh, we good. We got this. The people in the background are literally just 2D sprites. Hey, you can't, you can't get it all, right? They had to disable the 3D to get the graphics this nice in the game. They can get a pass on this one. Top wheel was fucked? Nah, he's good. The little nigga's fine. Get your ass back out of here, man. You don't belong here. We doing this in we doing this in, in tradition of Mele Mele. That's what that nigga Hala said. Mele Mele don't want your ass, Pichu. Get your ass back to Mele Mele. Now let's get back. We gotta we gotta change it to um be set. That's a little bit more difficult. And now we're gonna give this nigga the business. It's super effective. <laughs> Some random de degenerate that pops up everywhere. He says that Pikachu didn't do shit. Word. Forks for sale. Doesn't this game's layout and the user interface look amazing? And we got a critical hit. Poplio's trying to redeem himself out here. And we have a care option? What's that? Care. Special defense 17. That's his best act. So what is that option? Does it mean we can... Oh, oh, the poor little guy's pissed! Oh wow, look at him, he's actually burning! <laughs> he got fucking burned in the battle, and you see that representative when he's in the actual care thing. So let's see, what can we do to help you out, little guy? What the fuck is this? For drying wet Pokemon, for dusting off sand, for wiping off dirt, for grooming, and for healing status conditions. I was about to say, before we got to the healing status conditions one, that none of these are gonna help my little nigga. He's burning, Squirtle. All right, let's help him out real quick. Here you go, little guy. Here you go, Papio. Let's help that nigga. Oh, you see the flames getting less and less. Oh, that's adorable. Now we just gonna chill for now. All right, Papio, get your ass back in. That's so cool that you can actually help them out like that. So there's an option right after the battle. You hit that Y button and bam. All right, let's get back to business. I bet Tapu Koko would like you too. That was awesome. Yeah, me too, man. You better work on that Pichu, man. I can't believe you bought that nigga under, under leveled and under evolved to a battle with me. And here comes Speak of the Devil and he will appear. That boy Tapu Koko is coming through. So what are you gonna give me? He gave that nigga a fucking Rolex? The Z ring. I didn't even realize we get access to Z moves this early. Like I said, I didn't watch any early access footage from like Gaming Pokemon. He got burned, you fuck. Care lets you wash your Pokemon off after battle. A Z ring. So now we can do all those ridiculous dances. I've seen, you know, with the 4chan leaks, a bunch of crazy over-the-top Z moves that have effects which are like, what? So Z crystals. Okay. Let's get out there and start the island challenge. If you visit every island, maybe you'll figure out what that mission is. The island challenge? Four islands. You'll travel to each of the four islands here in Alola. Island Challenge is about aiming to be the strongest trainer, the Island Champion. Sounds great, right? Can't wait to have a real adventure. Do you just shit on the island? How dare you? I'll explain about the Island Challenge later. Z-Ring does look dope, man. Niggas, this nigga Abigail says, yo, he got the Yokai Roch. I mean, uh, I mean the Z-Ring. does look extremely similar. Tapu Koko is amazing, isn't he? I hope we can meet it again one day, and thanks for saving Nebby, and of course, little Nebby there is going static as soon as he's mentioned. Me too. I left you with a sparkling stone, even though you're a stranger. What can I say? I got the magic touch. The only thing I don't have is any sort of fashion sense, because those shoes, them shoes are looking like fucking I fished them from the bottom of the ocean, my man. 
Those are some flippers right there. And back home with little Meowth. And mom. Hopefully, Kukui free. And you're back already? I thought you'd want to stay in Iki Town a little, a little longer. Especially after the great battle. I was so captivated to see my own boy fighting in perfect sync with his Pokemon. Well, you know, Mom, I got the magic touch. We from Kanto. You know these things already, Mama. This is the, that's the region of red. Maybe it's a good idea for you to try the island challenge. But right now, I got a date with my bed. I dance my feet off at that festival. Night, night, sweetie. You get some sleep, too. All right, Mom, get your ass to bed. Are we going to do something in the middle of the night? Nope, we just chilling. Are you going for Tim's or Yeezy's? I've never owned Tim's. Actually, I think I've owned like one pair, but I, don't, I can't remember exactly. So once again, every morning, Mom's gonna wake up and do that. I wonder what today will bring. A visitor! If it's Kukui, he'll probably let himself in without even waiting for us to open the door. A little Meowth. One thing I wish we could do in this game is change the camera angle. Oh, and there's multiple, op there's multiple um, screens for options now. Like whenever you open up the menu. So we're going to change the text speed to fast, battle effects on, the battle style set, button mode, we'll leave it like that. You can choose the destination, that's good. Yeah, we're going to leave it on there, there we go. I wish there was a difficulty option, but it's all good. So now, let me see, uh, trainer passports. Alright. Well, let's see who's at the door. It might either be Professor... It might either be Kukui or it could be Lily. Either or. It's Lily! I was right! Oh shit. I'm a fucking prophet. Um, Professor said... Hey there, Lily. Bring me that great new trainer. Woo! So I'm here to show you the way to his lab if you'll come with me. It's this way. This nigga don't have no lab, he got a strip club. Etika. Here, a little pocket money for you. Hey! We going to the strip club! We gonna let the man go! I love how cute this little Meowth is. He's so adorable. Oh, well done, Etika. You're already making friends, aren't you? And what a cute little friend you found. Oh, Lord, what can I say? I, you know, it's Kanto. It's the Kanto blood, you know? What can I say? We just natural born champions. We just managed to pull. Yeah, I can't turn it off. Um, before anybody in Etika gets me wrong, I'll say this. I wouldn't be mentioning my channel if I didn't think Etika could enjoy my content. I don't need uninterested people. Oh shit. My man's plugging himself in? Well, thank you. My name is Lily. <gasps> She's with- Lily, hold on a second. We about to go out on a date, my girl? Hold on a second. She's like, oh, thank you for the compliment. I like it. It looks like it's finally your time to shine, sweetheart. You've gone years without having any kind of cutie. Now, you got one right here in Alola, and it's only been a day. Enjoy yourself out there, Poplio. Don't be gone for too long. Little Meowth is so adorable. I want that nigga. You have a very nice mom, don't you? We should get going. I want to show you to the Pokemon Research Lab. Yeah, let's go. She's frowning? Ah, she's just shy. It's okay. Let's head to the lab. I want to see that little Meowth, though. I want to see Meowth. Vitz says not to be rude, but many people will still see it as a shameless plug to your channel. Hey, that man made his own decision. I'll let him rock out. Let him, you know, it's, it's all good. Let's not make him feel uncomfortable now. I don't mind the plugs. Sleep does the body good. Hell yeah, it's okay. You still haven't finished unpacking, Mom? I don't even see a difference from yesterday, man. What the hell are you doing out here? Let's save the game real quick. Young Goose, me, Mug, Grubbin, I'm the plug. So where's the lab at? Is that it? We have a Taurus out here. Enough already. You're gonna hurt somebody. So we can't go that way. Are we gonna be on our Vitality shit? Get our fucking jaw broken. Oh, okay, we're. we're Fucking up. Is it down here? Degenerate says the only thing that I'd be plugging on a live stream is my dick size. <laughs> I, I don't even know. 
Go ahead, man. Plug it in. <laughs> Let these niggas see your dick. It's not the first time that kind of stuff has happened on this channel. He says he can research moves better when he's surrounded by Pokemon. Since I'm not a trainer, though, I gotta rely on using repels all the time. You know what keeps him from attacking, right? And about Nebby. Oh, I mean Cosmog. He seems to be a very rare Pokemon that comes from far away. And he knows when you're talking about him. The little nigga's like, hey, yeah, I am. He seems to have a strange power. He used that power to save me when I was in danger, but other people want Cosmog to themselves for that power. That's why only the Prof and Kohuna Hala and other people I know, <laughs> other people I can trust know about it. And you keep it a secret. Don't tell nobody. You just told me. I, I just got to this island yesterday, my girl. I mean, I guess I'm to be trusted, but in the real world, man, I wouldn't trust it. Like, the nigga just came from nowhere. He hasn't said a word. And you see the way he walks in his eyes? You tell me if you trust somebody like that in real life. Hell no. Let's go, kneecaps. You about to get those kneecaps taken off, my boy. You trying to go with me on the court? Why is Pokeball so big? It's like he really does have a basketball, my nigga. Grobbin, I'm the plug. That Pokemon Scythe shit is stuck in my head, man. Let's go, Papio. Kneecaps. What the hell does that mean? Isn't Grubbin like a um, electric type? Or only when it evolves? String shot. Editor. Kufui Strip Club is in the back, behind the lab. Professor by day, certified prof <laughs> Professor by day, certified pussy destroyer by night. I'm not even surprised. That's no, okay. Oh man, not the kneecaps. Well. I'm not even surprised. Alright, cool. Wanna make sure it's good. What kind of Pokemon would I want on my team? Even though I know I caught these, um, I caught these two, Young Goose and Caterpie. I don't really think I'm gonna use them per se, just to get my Pokedex up. What do you use? Vice Grip? Grubbing get, Grubbing gets Vice Grip this early? Wow. Look at it. Bought to my knees. Kid, you don't want to say that to everybody, okay? We're losing. Get on the knees? <laughs> Jesus. He's a little kid, nigga. I gotta catch more Pokemon. Pokemon with cool knees are so neat. Grubbin doesn't have knees. He's a fucking little caterpillar, my boy. Okay. Let me see here. So we're gonna have to run through this huge patch. Can we jump over? Does this game still have ledges? I'm not sure if Oras had ledges, but I know X and Y did, right? The little ledges you could jump over? Are those gone? GLX says, oh man, please stop it. And the kid has a knee fetish. <laughs> a knee fetish, that's a first. So it says there's something so sexy about a smooth knee. What can I say, man? And we have another cutie patootie who's ready to catch the work. I love Alola, man. A little tan cuties, man. I go with it. It's cool. It's nice to look at. It's appreciated. Now, if only I could be a tan cutie myself, but instead they have me looking like a fucking alien with these skin tones, and the only other one that's slightly darker than this one, the nigga look like he come from the planet of the apes. No racial, my nigga. I'm talking about the color, all right? This is fucked up. I'm not represented by this. That's all. That's what I mean. They tried. Hit him with the water gun. How long has this stream been going on? We started about an hour ago. Is it now? Christina, you still going to the uh, Nintendo over? You're not going to Yeah, I think. Guys, um, there's an event going on at Nintendo World. What would you say that? Oh, because there's an event going on at Nintendo World, well, Nintendo New York City, and it was kind of to celebrate the launch of the Nintendo Entertainment System Mini, but, I mean, I was thinking about going I just don't feel like it would really be like exciting or worth it, so it's like whatever. And plus, I'm having a lot of fun playing this with you guys. Check out my cute Pokemon.
So this is the this is the last. Okay, I didn't even realize that. A wingo. Didn't Pelipper get uh Pelip Pelipper? Yeah, he got Drizzle this generation. And he has Roost on him. Courtesy to uh Poke AMD for finding out all that stuff, or rather just for talking about it. I think it's a really interesting move. Don't you growl at me, bitch. I'm a special. I'm special attacker. Grubbin is a fucking beast. I know his speed goes down when he evolves into his last form, Vikavolt. I think that's his name. But, hey. He's still really, really strong. I think his attack stat is huge. And Electric Bug's a nice type too, on that Galvantula shit. The mystery says how Etika is playing this. All I can say is leaks. Leaks, leaks, leaks. Hey, Kara, I see you with that leak emote. Oh, the, the stream, the time streaming is stuck at 4 hours and 50 minutes. My bad, dudes. That is not true. We have not been streaming for that long. Eh, that's whatever. Well, you're kind of strong, aren't you? Yes, we is. What's this say? Trainer tips. Okay. You know, I'm glad that they didn't really force like a super long tutorial on you. Is this that nigga Kukuri's lab? This looks like a fucking mess. Niggas got band-aids all over this bitch. This is a place where research for Pokemon goes down. I wouldn't believe it if you... I wouldn't believe it at all. I still don't believe it. This is a fucking shack. The memes are here. These memes! Give it everything you got, my body is ready. Not only is this bad just for the memes, but on top of it all, this is some serious innuendo right here. Kukui, what are you doing? There they go again. This is why I stand outside. I don't want to get any fluid splashed on me. The Pokemon Research Lab has its own unique... What? Has its own unique charm, as I think you might agree. I've actually been imposing on the professor here for the past three months. Three months is exactly where she got teleported to the, um... She got teleported from that little cutscene that we saw. And it was like three months later. I'm not an assistant, but it's the least I can do for her letting, him, letting me stay. This is a fucking mess. The professor, he never stops researching moves. Not even inside the lab itself. It looks like we'll have to patch the roof again. And I just had washed his lab coat and finally gotten it clean, and now it's gonna be in shreds. I'm no good at mending clothes, so he'll just have to buy another new one. Lily, your assistant. That nigga doesn't deserve to have somebody like you around. He's gonna keep making a fucking mess out of things. What does the inside of this fucking place look like? Okay. The inside looks a lot better than the outside does. This, this is actually a night and day difference here. I thought it would have looked like Sans's room from Undertale or some shit. Hey, Etika, thanks for getting him for me, Lily. Of course. However can I be a help? I'm supposed to be your assistant, right? His moves were just so styling, and I was making good progress with my research. Let me see that Pokedex for a second. Is it Rotom time? Not bad. On the inside, yeah. It? Don't make me do all the talking. See, there's this Pokemon inside your Pokedex called Rotom. Really? Oh, I can tell you about Rotom. Peculiar with a body made up of something like electricity. And it takes residence in machines. Yeah, buddy, and to put all that crazy skill of Rotoms to work, it's the next generation of Pokedex, but it's only complete once Rotom has gone into this spe body specially developed for it. A whole new way for po people and Pokemon to communicate. So the Rotom... So that's the reason why... He's able to talk just because the Pokedex is made for it? Like, interesting. Hmm. What the hell? It would be so cool if you could use this Rotom form as a battle, like, as, as a Pokemon in battle. Imagine that, Rotom Pokedex form. Hopefully it would have better speed than most of the niggas in 7th Gen do. Shots fired. Hey boy, I here boy, I powered up your favorite decks. 
Give Vedica a helping hand. And like, I got you. So he's gonna stay with us the entire journey. I can see some big plot details happening with this little guy. He just flew up our ass. Zer, nice to meet you, pal. Gentle on the goods, okay? I'm already, I already love this Rotom. I, I'm already in love. See, Erica? Now Rotom can talk right to you. From what I can tell, it looks like Rotom's taking a liking to you. And this will help how exactly? Yeah, thank you, Lily, for being the one voice of logic in here. Etika ain't been here in Alola too long, so I gave him this special Rotom Dex to help him navigate around. Thank you very much. I should have said nice to meet you, Rotom. Oh, so this little dude is our map. Have we ever had a map in Pokemon before? This feels like a first time kind of thing. Have we ever had like a map? Ah, lo, la. This nigga how? He thinks he's so damn smooth. The salty breeze sang to me and brought me here to you. What is that, supposed to be a fucking poem? You're scaring all the little Pokemon, nigga. Little Snubble had to run away from your bitch ass. Is that a loft? That's awesome. That's Lily's room. No, it's not. It's private. The professor's been kind enough to let me use it. You gonna infringe on a girl's space? How dare you? Be respectful, my nigga. How? You better chill. If you see a person or a Pokemon that needs help, you just help them. Right, Etika? How? That's why I'm letting Lily stay up there in the loft. So, Etika, I'm leaving this Rotom Dex in your hands. Rotom, you look after Etika, right? That's the Rotom Dex, huh? It's kind of cute. Alright, there's some important things you gotta know about the Island Challenge. Here it is. Strongest trainer around. And the Challenge Champion. So, it's basically like the gym leader in a way. You, you just beat the people. The, 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 the Kahunas are the gym leaders. And then the champion is the champion like in the Elite Four. Okay. Or maybe it'll be a little bit different in actual practice. Who knows? Either way, I'm just glad they're approaching it from a new angle, and I'm excited about that. The audio is getting a little weird now. Larvesta is hella cool. Hold on, the audio, do you guys hear like the audio getting scratchy again? I want you and Poplio to get out there and give it a shot. You were able to use your Pokemon's moves in the very first battle, and you got a talent for drawing out strengths. Hell yeah! So he's dedicated his life to studying Pokemon moves. A challenge amulet. Hey, that's kinda nifty. Looking kind of fresh, my nigga. I got one from Gramps, too. Alright, let's do it. To trainer school. So, this is something that we have to do mandatory. I think I've heard a couple of things about it. Um, Abigail says it's a little crackly, but I think it's just this song. Hopefully. Long road to becoming the island champion, and the trainer school is the first step. So, we need to go learn some shit. What about you, Hal? I just want to play with my Pokemon. Uh, I mean, train them, right. Slacking ass nigga. It's so cute, you see the little Pokemon all playing with each other, running in the back? The Snubble, the Rockruff, and I don't remember what that little one's name is. I, I know Beware, but I can't remember the pre one. Take care of Etika, Lily. Take care of me, you gotta, you gotta make sure I'm okay. Until he gets used to Rotom, help him find his way around. That's your duty. To get a booty. Nah, I'm playing. Okay, so the music is back to normal now. Rotom says if you need some help, give me a little poke. Wait, what? So I just touch him? Hey, what up, Rotom? So I just touch him. What? I'm just... I want to see what he's going to say. This is fucking hilarious. You little mischievous fucker. Oh, okay, so I think I have to hold it down. Alola Pokedex, Melee Melee Pokedex. So this is the name of the island that we're currently on, right? Melee Melee? Yeah, this is the- okay, Melee Melee Island. This is us. So now, if you need some help, give me a little poke in the middle of my map. But not too hard. Okay. I got it. Thanks for the assistance, Rotom Dex. Look at this little guy. What's its name? I can't remember. 
Stop molesting Rotom, you weirdo. Stop. Th 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 this ain't new. Get, get the fuck out of here. I wasn't molesting the little Rotom. I was just touching the little. Oh, God. That don't sound good either. Let me see. Shadow. Let me move that shit over. We got the little love disc in the um, fishing tank. The fish tank. Is this actually what the outside looks like? I want to see. Can we enter these doors? I don't know. So what are, what are we doing right now, Koopy? I think uh, Lily's going to show us around. That is how outside looks. It would be pretty insane if like, you could see Pokemon running around when you were in the lab and you look out the window. The visuals, man. And the little map that Rotom has. Can you guys confirm for me if there was ever a map like that? I don't think so. This is like a first time. It really is helpful to be able to just look down and see that shit. So we're heading to the next place. Icky. Back to Icky Town, right? Are we moving down? What's up, bro? The Pokemon I got with me are all grass type. I'm looking for some water Pokemon so I can be fire types too. Teaching us a little balance. 10 carat hill. So this is not for us right now. We gotta come back. Let me see. So let's just head back for now. There were maps, but there was no tracking of where you move. Yeah, this is like, like this is this is nice. I like this system. And we got a wingle. We're going wrong for now. And we're level 10, so I mean, you know, we're we're good. We're solid. We should be able to handle any battles. And then hopefully we can find a Pokemon that I actually like a lot and use that. I wanted to use Young Goose, but. Eh, I'm not too crazy about him now. He's still a cool Pokemon. I don't know, maybe it's because Trump won the election. Maybe not, and they just don't fucking like the Lord anymore. Because you know? when Young Goose came out, it was kind of still a joke at that point. Hmm. Let me see. I really do wish we could control the camera ourselves. So, I mean, this is our house, right? So does the map indicate where we have to go next? Okay, so we can go through here. Let me show you the Pokemon Center. They managed to calm down that wild ass Tauros. Wow, that remix. That island remix. So that's the PC. And that's the marks, so they still kept them together. I think that's the most functional thing. And the a cafe area? Oh, speaking of cafe, hold on a second. I'm about, I'm, I need me a little bit of a shot. I ain't talking liquor, my nigga. capture card over and the magnet came out but at least the port itself is not getting damaged right I like to relax there sometimes with a glass of moomoo milk in terms of what I got when I spoke of cafe I got a little double shot espresso Starbucks thing right here so that should definitely keep me wired throughout the day or well, the night rather it's 6 22 p.m. currently each Pokemon Center in Alola offers a different selection of drinks I wonder how I wonder what they picked to serve. Starbucks has infiltrated its way into Pokemon, guys. Like, are you seeing this shit? Weak ass Bombay, get out of here, Kara. Don't destroy your capture card, my nigga. If this card breaks during this stream, I would cry. No joke. After hitting it with the arm nine and your boy KK going through so much shit to get me this thing and it just breaks. So we got Starbucks in Pokemon. Oops, let me make sure this thing is good. Let's take a swig of this. Oh, the 
trainer school. We heading there next. I set the trainer school as our destination. Let's get the show on the road. It's It'd be interesting if we could do our own waypoints too, little Rotom Navy. Good morning. That's fancy. You saw that shit? That was nice. Damn. Let's see. What's this? Festive, festive Plaza? There's a bunch of options now. Battle video, QR scanner, Festival Plaza. What's the QR scanner even do, honey? Nah, we'll read it later. Oh, sh what? Whoa. That is some crazy Inception type shit. What the hell? Alright guys, we're going to continue the stream like this. Look at that beard. That's a solid beard right there. Wow, this is so fucking crazy. That's the spider web that's on my wall. That's my that's what's under me. I got a fan right there. You can't see it though. That's my foot. That's my Starbucks espresso shot. Alright, let's get back to business. I don't know what that can be used for, but I'll read up on the manual later. Very curious. Um, Shadow Colossus says, is that Mitch's web? Now nah, well, I guess you could say it is. Cough, nigga. The beard almost as weak as Etika's Pokemon skills. Fuck out of here. Don't bust my balls. Here we are, the trainer school. So this is something we have to do. This is the next story plot. And there's a raging bull out of this bitch. Well, it looks like we won't be going that way anytime soon, thanks to Tauros. But we were only planning to go as far as the trainer school, anyways. We'll just leave that for someone else to deal with. <laughs> It's like a, it's like the March of the Bulls in Spain. So is a trainer school where trainers go? What? What was that, Rona? It's a trainer school where trainers go to learn. Who do trainers do the teaching? We just got him, and already this nigga's on his philosophical shit right now. His mind is open. But yeah, they said that we can't fuck with his toros right now. He wants more. Fallen Child Car says Etika's beard is as weak as his Bombay. Alright, I'm not going to tolerate this for too much longer. I know you spawn type, I know you a stream vet, I know you, you, you're you a big supporter, but... Car, I'm going I'm to get that ass. Link Master says, hey, Etika, you want to do some Smash 3DS later? You have to re-add me on your new 3DS again. Later on, I'm, I don't know if I'm going to play anything else after this stream, and I know I want to try to do a regular stream after this too, so it depends. We'll see, though. I might just be able to fit it in when we do the regular stream. Hey, Etika, I missed... I must have passed you two somehow. Yeah, I was busy fucking with the bull. But welcome to the trainer school, the place to how to be a trainer. Music is on point. So is the game in daytime now because it's nighttime where I live? Kukui, is this the child you told me about? Yeah, put him through the ringer, Teach. Four trainers. You've got to beat four Pokemon trainers here at the school. Alright. It's no problem. Already, we get the most overpowered item right away. Fine, I'll just leave it on. It works. The teacher who will take part in this lesson may be inside or outside. You might want to visit our classrooms. You'll be sure to learn a lot. Alright, let the lesson begin. This is just a place where niggas get their ass beat. Link Master says, well, we can just add each other in our 3DS friend list later. I post my friend code to you on Twitter DMs. Thanks, man. Definitely. I gotta add you on this one. She may not look all that tough, but the teacher trains her kids right. One of her students is even a captain. If you want a bit of advice from me, here's something that might help. When you fought a species of a Pokemon once, you can see the type of the moves that work the best. Okay. Thanks for the tip, Kukui. Find those four trainers. You find them, battle them, and you'll beat them. 
Yo, Rodem, it's clear that you're on my side with this shit. So now we have to hunt these niggas down. Experience share is mad OP. Green, uh, green, yeah, I know. This, it's like, you know, am I gonna say I won't use it? No, because it's like other people are gonna use it. So it's like handicapping yourself, which I get you could do if you really want to, but it's like whatever. I don't mind at this point. So the trainers, are they going to encounter us and start up battles themselves, or do we have to talk to them to get the battles? Let's talk to the security who's playing some tennis. I've been waiting for you here because the teacher told me to. Be my Pokemon and I'll give you a simple but important lesson. A tennis lesson? She actually is playing tennis! Young athlete Hiromi. Is that a Canadian flag on the fucking thing? Wow. And she has a great ball? How do you use a great ball to catch a 50 pack? What are you doing here, Omi? I love the environment, though. Let's beat her ass real quick. Water gun. Oblivion says that oven looks familiar. Dan- Oh! Wow. Arrow wants me to stream Hong Kong 97? Hell no! That game is one of the worst ever made! You gotta be niggering me! Arrow, please don't nigger me in my streams, okay? Hong Kong 97 is my shit, Edicus is streaming. No! It's not, it can barely even be called a game. My nigga Young Goose and Caterpie, I see you. That's a game and set, isn't it? Oh, I thought it was a Canadian flag for a second. Xavier Bazer says, what is Danny? <laughs> Xavier, if you don't know, then there's no point in explaining it. My nigga Danny, rest in peace, man. Nigga got fucked up. He says, Danny? I don't get it. So this trainer school, this is basically meant for the uh, younger players who've never encountered Pokemon before. Just to learn the basics of the game and how to play. But I'm already a Pokemon master, so this is no problem for me. We can just brush through the school and blow these little niggas away. Come catch this work. You're standing here because you're the strongest? I won't battle you unless you beat everyone else here. Oh, so you're the captain. I'll be sure to have Poplio beat the fuck out of you more than anyone else in this bitch. Dick's out for Donnie? Xavier really wants niggas to explain to him who the hell Danny is. It's a JoJo reference, an anime reference. Is that the teach? Well, sir, I respect your job, but I gotta give you the business. So cool, could you be teaching the little kids too? How you doing, little guy? Petting my Pokemon makes me happy too. It is, it does make me happy. It makes me really happy. It's so fucking adorable. Every Pokemon in this has a lot of personality to him when you're in that petting room. Alright. They give, just teach you about stab bonuses. They got lockers in this bitch too? Whoa! Okay. Look at your Pokemon. Whether it has claws or not, it'll get a kick out of this. And we got a quick claw. Okay, nice item. I love Alola, man. Everything is either super cute, super cool, or super bad. And I mean that in a good way. The mounds of Malasa? Malasada. Malasada. Man-sized Malasada. Mounds of Malasada. What the fuck is Malasada? And we actually have an Alolan Meowth over there. What's up, little guy? Meh, you evil bastard. Why you gotta be so cruel? That nigga Xavier, man, it's, it's an anime reference, though. Meowth, use fake out. Make your opponent flinch. They teach you all about it. I'm sorry, man. Like, the uh, the ladies of Alola have. Just, they got a lot going on, okay? Listen, y'all hit me in my weak point. Alright, let me see here. I, I can't look at cuties all day and interact with the cool kids. I need to find niggas to beat up. And actually, we're about to beat up a cool kid right here. Stand so close and I want to battle you. Is that what you want? Yeah, bring that ass here. You better get a permission slip. You too young for this. You, you, I don't know, man. I don't know. Preschooler Mia? And she got a Bonsley? I don't know, Mia. 
I don't know. Your parents, they should have taught you better. How are you going to pick a fight with the big kids? I know you need to prove yourself and all that, but the big kids will bust that ass. Sit your ass down, Mia. Wait, what's he using? What the fuck was that? Copycat? Oh, I forgot he can learn that. How... How, how threatening. That's actually pretty cool, too, but... You're supposed to be 10 to get a Pokemon, and preschoolers have them. That's true! Your ass can't be any more than 5, 6 years old. And you got Pokemon? You got a little Bonsly? Where the hell did you catch that at? It won't be as close... Won't be as close to my Bonsly. It'd be cool if we can fight them later on, and they have, like, advanced Pokemon, kind of like Gold and Silver. The style of battle is pretty great, you know? So I'm hoping that you count towards the amount of trainers that we need to be. He's still in the cut. See the do. <laughs> hey, I see you, Green. Was it Green Exify that says that? Was it Green Exify? It'd be funny if that Meowth hit the kid with a fake out on the face from Vitzel. <laughs> Yo. If the Meowth was like, meh. <laughs> Just meh. <laughs> that little evil ass Meowth. Hey, will you be streaming all day and some of the night? Perhaps a couple hours later now. How about some JoJo, since you can't upload this? This video will not be uploaded until November 18th, my boy, so we got a lot of time. Let's keep finding trainers. Can we go in here? And we got Slowpoke in there. Let's get that tail, man. Make some money. Yawn. Big ass nigga. His ma yawn is an effective move. We're talking about that sleep chance. Let's see. These boys got some alien wares in here. Alright, Alola. A couple YouTubers on the island. Kara, please stop with the old man. Alright, some more stuff. Talking about abilities. How special they are. Lillipup. Lillipup's ability is pickup. What's a Lillipup? Is he talking about a Rockruff? Okay. So, yeah, that's some tips. Alright. You know what? This is actually a nice way to format it, too. Like, all the new players that go through this, I can see this being a huge help. And we have the um, teacher here. Teach, where are those other students at? Where's the work? So more of them must be outside. Maybe in the schoolyard. Fallen Child Car says, we need more sponsor streams. They're really chill. Yeah, I, I love this. Like, this is extremely chill. It makes it easier to read you dudes' stuff. Lil Pup is Rockruff's pre-evolution. There's a... Rockruff has a pre-evolution called Lil Pup? I don't think I was... I don't know about that. Lil Pup is Herdier's pre-evo. Oh, Herdier! I forgot, and then he evolves into Stoutland. I remember now. Lil Pup is 6th gen. Yeah, now I remember. Now let's head outside. Has science gone too far? All right, so there's got to be some more trainers outside. You still don't want to fuck with us, right? All right. You just keep gassing yourself up, dog. And we have this. There we go. That's another victim right there. You're about to add him to the body count. I'll teach you tactics I learned here at school by beating you with them. So fucking edgy. I'm going to send your ass home, man. This nigga going to be crying to moms after I finish with him. Metapod? Are you serious? You said that you were going to show me some skills and you send out a Metapod. My nigga. I mean, level 7. Okay, that's great. But my nigga, I don't know if you're at your priority straight right now. That bitch should have evolved. <laughs> Little Pup is Gen 6. Thanks a lot for the tips, guys. Use Harden? I don't give a fuck how hard you get, my nigga. You're still going to catch this work. Youngster Joey? Is that that boy, Youngster Joey? He ain't talking about his shorts, though. <laughs> Top percentage of Metapod. <laughs> it's so crazy when people actually looked at the IVs of Youngster Joey's Pokemon in, in, in Gold and Silver. They saw that his goddamn Rattata was 
31 IVs all the way down. So he was legit rolling around with a top percentage Rattata. That killed me when I learned it later on in life. Like, oh my god. But no, nigga was actually legit. Baby doll eyes. I love that move. You know who else has baby doll eyes that I love from Gen 6? My nigga. My nigga, Furfro. I know I love Rockruff, but Furfro will always be the closest dog Pokemon to my heart. Just because of his amazing ability, his defense is off the charts, and then a priority status lowering, um, attack lowering move in baby doll eyes. I love it. It's like a growl, but. When, is it a growl? It's like a better growl. Baby doll eyes is a better growl. I love that move, man. I can't believe Poplio learns Baby Doll Eyes. Because I didn't really look at their, you know, what they learn as they level up. I don't know about tactics and stuff, because I ain't been doing my homework. So you ain't even been learning, my boy. You ain't even been learning. I'm, I'm about to... Poisoning an opponent will slowly drain HP. Indeed, it will. Wow, Baby Doll Eyes on Poplio. I like that. That's a, that, I mean, I used a lot of Furfro in competitive play, and Baby Doll Eyes helps a lot because, you know, he's normal typing, so he's not necessarily defensive, but his stats are great for it and his ability too. And then when you compound Baby Doll Eyes on top of it, it's like him having an Intimidate. He's able to soak up so many physical hits off of that. I'm feeling so much competitive strategy coming with this. This look, look, it's like a better growl. Baby Doll Eyes. User stares at the target with its Baby Doll Eyes, which lowers its attack stat, and it's a priority. Always goes first. So if you know you're about to take a close combat from a Terrakion as a fur fro, and you have max defense with the fur coat ability, if you use Baby Doll Eyes, you're taking like, what, maybe like, maximum 40% HP. So fucking good, man. Maybe like, 50, 60. If it's like a Choice Man in Terrakion, you're, you're, you're getting blown back, but if it's like, like, uh, if it's like a Life Orb Terrakion, maybe, then you can take, like, uh, 40%, 35. Let me see. So now we can fuck up that, um, that bragging dude. Salty, you're out. Salty Gaming, you're off, man. Take care. Look at this smug bastard. Look at this nigga's face. Do you really think you have the... You really think you got the stomach for this, my nigga? I don't know why you looking so smug, my boy. And you got an ugly ass Grimer? What do you think this is? I'm about to blow that nasty nigga back into the sewers. Hit him with the water gun, please. Baby doll eyes is priority now? Nah, Vitzel, it was always priority. Really good move. It wasn't priority before? Nah, it was, it was. That's why I like it. I remember back in Gen 6 when I saw... Whoa, he has um, a lot of... Well, then again, Grimer is good with special defense. But yeah, in Gen 6, when I saw that Furfro had Baby Doll Eyes and how it worked, I was like, whoa, this is a good move. So that's why I use Furfro all the time. And we're getting hit with that poison. Did he just use poison gas? I want a Grimer. I know, it's such a great move. I think Baby Doll Eyes is underrated. Hopefully we can get some more use out of it this gen. Since priority attacking moves seem like they kind of got the boot. Get him, Poplio. This nigga's taking hits. Wow, nigga. I'm getting fucked up right now. Oh, why didn't I use Disarming Voice? Well, then again, he's poison as well as dark, so it wouldn't really do much. Water gun that nigga again. Don't you tell me he has a potion. Okay, no, he's good. Alright, Carl, you're leaving, man. You got tutoring? It's nice it's nice talking to you in the stream, dude. Let's care for him after this, man. He's gonna get real fucked up. Um, Degenerate, you're out, man. Etika, please either continue Fire Emblem or say it's officially dead. It's not officially dead and it will be continued. That's all I can say. I did too much setup and preparation with Fire Emblem to announce it dead. You know, it just took me a little while to get this 3DS shit working. But after this, successful stream. Trust me, Fire Emblem's coming back, man. Let me help my little nigga Poppy out real quick. Medicine. So, is this like an unlimited thing? There you go, little buddy. There you go, little buddy. Let me help you out with this shit. Hey. So you have to actually wipe where the poison is? 
Alright, so you good, man? Here, let, let, me, let me give you a little something here, too. You know, you kind of worked hard there. You almost got fucked up. He's so adorable. What happens when I touch your little frill, though? Look how angry he is. Wow. Excuse me? Alright, we're out. Now, that wasn't cool at all. Maybe I should aim for being pretty instead. You probably have a better time doing that. Battling is not your forte, my nigga, but hey, whatever. I'll admit it even when I'm beat. The technical machine. What is this? Well, first TM. Work up. I think work up was one of the first TMs that you could get in um, black and white as well. So, hey, that's good. You know I'm gonna use that. I already know all this stuff, man. Thank you for the tips, dude. And it's time for your ass to get back to class. Would Etika please come to the office on 2F? Alright. What terrible- She said, what terrible thing- What terrible thing did you do to get called to the office so soon? All I did was beat a couple of little niggas' asses, that's it. You know, no bullying or anything, I just- I just showed some little niggas the work. Nothing. <laughs> well, that's what you say. You were called to the office already? Naughty boy, it's off to 2F with you. Rodan, why don't you sit your ass down, nigga? You don't even know what the hell's going on here. Why don't you just relax and show me the map? You Dora the Explorer looking ass. I'll roast you too, Rotom. Don't get me started. This nigga think he's slick. Oh man. So anytime there's any kind of trouble, niggas are gonna be like, oh man. Etika, I can't believe that you beat all of my students. <laughs> I really tried to put the undertone like I was in trouble. After seeing such a performance, I think I'd like to battle you myself. What are you ready? Are you ready to take me on? Uh, not yet. I gotta heal my little boy up real quick. Don't you worry, you're gonna get the work too. I'm gonna knock those fucking flats off. Let me just heal up my little guy real quick. Let me restore you up real quick, my man. Poplio got that HP on deck. I think he's about to level up too, so we'll be full HP. Any other options here? Battle video. We can check all that stuff out later. Alright, now I'm ready to give you the business. About to blow that scarf back. As a teacher, I gotta see for myself what you did to beat four of my students. You're about to see. You want a piece? Teacher Emily. I don't give a damn how cute you are. And she got a Magnemite. This might actually be kind of troublesome. Papio. Let's go, nigga. I don't give a damn. Thundershock, this is gonna hurt. Ooh, not good. He's not even physical, so we can't use baby doll eyes on him. Poplio. You got this shit. Good thing this ain't a Nuzlocke. Green X device says, oh man. If I use another water gun, he's... And she's still got another Pokemon. I don't think I have any revives on me. I don't think I have any revives. I don't got any revives, my nigga. Okay, this is not a good situation. What the hell am I gonna do here? Should I just switch to a Young Goose? I don't think he's gonna take that Thunderbolt too well, either. But at this point now, I'm just basically gonna try to out out heal his thunderbolts or thunder shots rather yeah she's aiming for the juggler man all right we can take one more so let's hit him with another water gun you better not critical hit me vitzel we, we can pull through don't you dare critical hit me live it with one hp fucking christ it was a crit oh my god Speak of the devil and he will appear. All we have is Young Goose and Caterpie now. Who's got a Magnemite this early in the game? What the fuck are we gonna do? We ain't got no revives, nigga. Fuck me, man. Fuck me. Oh, I might be fucked. I might be fucked. Should I leer him? Oh, shit. 
Or should I just tackle? It's not gonna do shit though. Jesus. Lower his defense stat. Wait a minute, what are you working with, Caterpie? What kind of moves you got on you? I didn't even bother looking at your ass. Tackle and string shot. Oh, that's great. Jesus. Young Goose, hit him with the leer. Lower the defense. Make it easier. So soften him up, Young Goose. Damn. Niggas caught the business already? How did niggas catch the work already? That Magnemite fucked up Poplio. Tackling me. This teacher is giving me work. Young Goose. And she's still got one Pokemon left, my name. This is no good. At least we hit him with the we hit him with the leer, so. This to do that Gotta be take it. That didn't do shit! Oh my god, we got fucked in the ass! We got fucked in the ass, man. Oh man. Oh damn! She blew us the fuck back, and she robbed me. Damn, teacher was not fucking around. I should have been catching more Pokemon, but it's like I just figured I'd just run through this bitch. You're getting a tough battle. Damn, that was hard, man. My little nigga Poplio got fucked up. Hold on, we gotta make sure that bullshit don't happen again. Let's get us some revives. I should have remembered to do that. If I'm gonna do this kind of a run where we kind of want to run through it all, I want to make sure I have the proper items. There's no revives this early, of course. Shit. Alright, give me some super potions, man. Give me some super potions. No super potions! Of course you don't have super potions. It's the fucking beginning of the game, man. Damn. She blew us the fuck back. Catch more Pokemon, nigga? Erika thought he could pussy around? Listen, man. Me and Poplio, we got this shit. We got it. Don't you worry, man. We about to give that teacher the work. She, she did, she did get, she, she... Damn. Poplio, how you look? If only you didn't have a jolly nature, you would have done more damage with those water guns, and you could have taken out that Magnemite in two hits. But instead, I'm working with a fucking Jolly Poplio, where his speed doesn't even matter because he's so goddamn slow. And then his special attack takes a hit. That special attack probably would have been 20 if he was actually something that was beneficial, or at least not negative to his speed special attack. Fucking Christ, Poplio! He's about to evolve, so let's, let's give him one more level. What's wrong with being Jolly from Lem Mystery? Jolly only works if you have, like, speed to use. But Poplio ain't got no speed. Little nigga's slow as fuck. I think he's the slowest starter out of every single one of them. And then on top of it, Jolly reduces his special attack, which is his best stat, best attacking stat. So it like, it's a complete waste. It's a waste of a buff, and it's a complete crippling nerf. Jesus, I would've been better off with a neutral nature, where it didn't help anything, or, you know, take away anything. This probably was <laughs> This nigga's trash. <laughs> this nigga's absolute trash. Yep, Pinky Peck. Pinky Peck go and get fucked up by that Magnemite. Etika, will you ever do a 3DS custom firmware tutorial? I might, because installing um, ARM9 loader hacks is actually a lot easier now. Damn. Yeah, yeah we're gonna level up my nigga Poplio one more time. We're gonna, we're gonna get him some Caterpie experience. This music is so good. Jolly is basically balancing him. <laughs> balancing him. More like fucking neutering him, my nigga. It's a fucking... Uh, Jolly nature is like the worst thing ever for this Poplio, man. As soon as I saw Jolly, my heart sank into my asshole. This is gonna be a grind. Thank God you know how to grind. Wouldn't grinding be easy for anyone? 
This music is always gonna get me. I just love the way it starts, like... I love this. Fighting level 2s is not gonna evolve him anytime soon. I know, he's getting so little experience. We gotta go to the high level areas, Bob Wheel. Did you catch a Peaky Peck yet? Nah, not yet. To get that nigga a 2 cannon? Let's go to the higher level areas, Poppy. Oh man, let's get you some. Let's get let's get you some kind of power ups, man. Because right now you you slacking, my boy. You is slack a lacking, Poppyo. Where's the high level areas? I think they're up here. Nah, we gotta go the other way. We gotta go around where um Kukuri's lab is. So we're about to enter uh, Iki Town. And then once we go to Iggy Town, then we walk around, then we get to... Etika, if you have Luma 3DS, do you have the Clock Plus L2 enabled for this? Yeah, I leave it on all the time. Because it's supposed to be a huge performance boost, right? Mahalo Trail. Etika, you can turn off battle animations. It speeds things up a little faster in battle. Thanks for the tip, Link Master. I think I'm going to use that for the grinding. Save me some time. We're gonna turn off animations just for the grind. Battle effects off. There we go. Rodan, what you gotta say about the situation, man? You were called to the office already. Are Pokemon even here to fight? This is just where the bridge got fucked up. Oh, whoops. Visuals are on point in this game, man. Alright, so at least when we get to the um, actual place to grind, it'll be super fast. Thanks, you know, the Link Master reminding us of the tips. But I'm not going to leave battle effects off permanently, because I like watching them. But in this situation, just to get some experience, we'll just, just leave that shit off. Let me see... What's the story here? And all these Pokemon cries really adds an interactive feel. The world feels alive, man. That's what I love about this. Is this gonna be a place we can get- Oh, we got an item over there. Etika, have you ever been banned from 4chan? One time. I did, um... It was me part- Like, before the um, social board was made, I kinda used to talk to people there for fun. And at one point they were like, Oh, this isn't a place for, you know, um, social threats. Now, that was actually really fast. But it wasn't like a permanent ban, it was just like a, you know, a temporary one. It was like for, I think, maybe three hours or something. I'm glad they didn't, it wasn't a troll-ass mod who hit me with a goddamn 25-year ban over some shit. A ladybug? Whoa, we gotta catch you. Ladybug, and it's a lady. Bruh. I'm sorry I voice that motherfucker. Okay, I, like, I want you. Etika got a timeout. Yeah, it was like a timeout. Ball time. Bring your ass here. Hey, Green Exify, I see you. We got that, uh... We got that fucking ladybug emote in there. And we got it. We got it, guys. A ladybug. <laughs> Young Goose, Mean Mug, any learn pursuit. That might help. And the Caterpie's evolving. We're about to get us a hard gig. Ladybug is a really bad Pokemon though. Yeah, it fucking sucks. And it got no love throughout all these generations. Don't you just hate it when the Pokemon company completely ignores those underrated Pokemon? It's like if it's not popular in the slightest, they won't give it any attention. Like, why give Gengar a Mega Evolution? It's one of the most popular Pokemon. He doesn't need a Mega. And they, they gave Megas to Pokemon that completely didn't need them. They're supposed to boost up the lesser recognized guys so they become likable with Mega Evolutions. Nah, fuck that. Lucario gets a Mega. Salamence gets a Mega. Tyranitar gets a Mega. They don't need them. But okay. Congrats, you registered a Pokemon in the decks. It's a red letter day. I'm about as red as anything. No shit. Its shell is hard, but it's still just a bug shell. It's been known to break, so intense battles with it should be avoided. Should have told Ash Ketchum that in the beginning. Does he? 
And you learn hard. <laughs> what a surprise! <laughs> hard and hard and hard and hard. You guys remember that episode in um, Pokemon? Where it was Ash versus that bug catcher and they both had Metapods and they just were hardening under the sun? I liked that scene when I was a little kid just because, you know, Misty was sunbathing in there. And I was like, that gets a thumbs up. Why don't you just check out what kind of Pokemon it is that you can just cut, pal? They communicate with another, one another using bodily flu- <laughs> Bodily fluids that give off odors, okay. When they're angry, their odors smell sour. Such a cute. Nah, you good. Get your ass to the party, nigga. I want to play this game, but my 3DS is 11.2. If you have another custom firmware 3DS in your possession, you could use that to mod your other one. But 11.2 by itself, it's pretty much impossible to mod. Unless you get a hard mod, and that'll, that runs a lot of risk. Not to mention it's fucking scary. And in general, just a mess to do. Poplio, are you good now, my boy? Poplio's leveled up. Let's go take on that Magnemite. Let's do it, Poplio. All right, so we're gonna save the game. But you know, let's just have that. This little map on the bottom of the screen is so fucking helpful, guys. So we have to run back to um, our hometown, and then we go from there. Oh no, actually, he doesn't get his HP back when he levels up. Was that ever the case? Maybe I'm thinking of something else. Past the Pokemon Center. Then again, I should probably heal up real quick. But yeah, let's turn the um, animations back on. I love how quick the menus are, too. You know, real snappy. Hit me up, man. We got a Ladybug, we have a Metapod, we have a Young Goose. So much diversity. Leveling up doesn't fully heal HP. Just a little bit. And it's because his HP stat rises, right? I totally forgot. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that again. But that animation is still so damn sick. Look at that shit. Very clean. You know, I was spamming A button, so that's the reason why I started it up with her again. Typical Pokemon shit, right? Back to the trainer school. Let's give that cutie teacher a run for her motherfucking money. One, two, four. Oh yeah, we got that tip from you already, Cookie. Cool, thank you. Lily, what you gotta say? What terrible thing did you get? <laughs> what, what terrible thing did you do to get called to the office so soon? I ain't do nothing. These niggas are fucking with me. All right, that Magnemite, man. We're gonna put in some work this time. So many sponsors in here now. <laughs> All right, Teach, are you ready? Actually, let me save the game real quick. There we go. I'm ready. Let's do it. I got something for you. Now, we know we got our Magnemite in the bag, but I'm not sure if her next Pokemon is something that can fuck me up. If she's got two Magnemite, oh my god, two Magnemite, and I'm just turning this shit off. There's not a Ladybug can help. Unless he has Dizzy Punch. Ladybug, do you have fucking Dizzy Punch? No, Tackle and Supersonic. How diverse. Top Leo, man. Let's just get in there, hit him with the motherfucking water gun. Yo, we got special attack. It did not do enough. Okay, we took that a little bit better. I can take two of those. Top Leo, hit him again. Critical hits, my boy! Critical hits, I'll take it. Alright, so we're pretty good now. Ladybug powered up too. Meow! Yes, an Alola meow, okay. No, it's him with that disarmor voice. He's a dark type. Bite. I'm not a fairy yet, so that kinda did a lot. <laughs> Get him! Baby doll eyes, lower that attack, my nigga. Of course it's gonna be faster. <laughs> These animations. 
Like, look how little that did. I love baby doll eyes, man. Disarm that nigga. Even with the animations on, the battles are quick, very visual, but they don't like take up a huge amount of time. Good night, my nigga. Sensational. I'm glad we did a little bit of grinding. Maybe you'd like to take over as a teacher here for me. All joking aside, I want you to take this. Another TM? Five great balls. Okay. Oh, there goes that man, um... What's his nigga's name? What was his name? Can't remember. Etika got through, nice. Yeah, man, it's just a little grinding we had to do. Ain't nothing, nothing crazy. Man, that was my teacher. When I was in that grade, man, I would... All A's. Lima. Ilma? I think it's... Ilma? Lim? Lim? Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't fucking know. So that's a captain. The little kid that was in the schoolyard, he wasn't a captain. Lilma is. This is Ima. Ima, I guess, who moved here from the cancer. Oh, this is Etika. No, he's talking about me. He's got a sense. <laughs> really? You think so? Okay, so the, so the captains and then the kahuna. Find Pokemon living everywhere. In the tall patches of grass in Haoli City. Haoli? Haoli? Perhaps you want to fill in your team. Fill out your team a bit before attempting my trial. Alright, man. So, Ilma, I see you later. Ilma. Okay, so I'll just call him Ilma. I reported to the folks upstairs about Tauros blocking the road. So, the Tauros, that guy's is Tauros, is pretty much a celebrity here on Melee Melee. Well, time to dismiss you. Your boy's out. I got all A's in that bitch. Attica completed his lesson. It was nice beating the shit out of you niggas. Thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you dudes later. Hopefully you get you can get your get your weight up next time. Enjoy your island challenge. Thank you very much. Make sure you use that TM, of course. I don't know if I want to give it to Poplio though. Since you know his attack stat isn't really worth it. Hey, definitely. Let's go see what, um, what was the name of that? Howley? Howley City? A lot of the characters here are worth some hentai from Shadow Colossus. This nigga doesn't give a fuck right now. Etika, over here. I mean, I've already seen some Rule 34 of Lily, okay? Mm. I was really impressed with seeing how you battled with your Pokemon at the trainer school. And even back then, when you weren't even a trainer, you were able to save Nebby. You were chosen by your Pokemon so quick, and I get it now. And I forgot about Toro, so is he about to fuck some shit up? Do we have to beat him in a battle? Oh, they already calmed him down. How... what are you doing, dumbass? And big nigga holla. A little pat first. He wants you to pet that big old Toros? If I had a pulse, it'd be racing right now. <laughs> Real punny. Whoa. I think we have to beat him in a battle. Or not. You see that? The rascal already loves you. It's because Pokemon become happier when we show them some care. I don't think you could attribute that to a real bull. Oh, the places that you will go, child. And as you do, you will surely meet Pokemon and people who will enrich your life. Alright, man. I'll see y'all ass later, Holla. The Kahunas are certainly something. Able to calm a raging Pokemon without even needing to battle. That's something. I like Tauros plenty and all, but it is pretty scary. I don't want to ride on it. But then I'll be the one to tame the bull. I am a Tauros myself, after all. Taurus. Taurus. She's gonna show me around Howley? Howley City. Howley. Nice idea. You're always on top of things, Lily. Etika just got here to a little, huh? I wouldn't mind Lily being on top of anything, nigga. Just saying. <laughs> I gotta stop. I gotta stop being a savage. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's in the channel description, nigga. We're kind of savage. Let me tag along, too. I want to get something good to eat. You know what? How? You have the right idea, my nigga. I could use some food, too. And not a fucking double shot. Let's 
Let's go together. What are we waiting for? Now, Vitzel says, I'm envious. I wish I didn't choose Pokemon instead sometimes. What do you mean? Let's catch up with him before he gets too far. Howley City is the biggest in all of Alola. Really now? So this is about to be extremely impressive then. I don't know about you, but I'm ready for a nice stroll around Howley. Especially the beach. You're a fucking Pokedex. How are you even going to enjoy the beach, my man? The biggest city in all of Alola. This is on our... We're on our... We're on our Celestial City shit right now. We got a bunch of beach beauties in this motherfucker. Niggas in the sun, catching them tans. Slow poke, relaxing. Everybody's having a good time in here. This is Pokemon, guys. Cut scenes. Animated, you know, 3D models. Fully done cutscenes. This is just insane to me. Beach time. Let's head to the beach. Hey, you. You came to Alola from someplace far off, haven't you? I can tell, baby. I got that Kanto all in my jeans, alright? That nigga Red's blood flows in my veins. That might just be my dad. Let me teach you the proper way to greet somebody in Alola. Alola. Give it a try, too. Just like that. Alola. You'll make more friends if you say it. Thank you very much for the tip. Howley's got plenty of tall buildings. It's even got a tourist bureau on its own. It's pretty damn impressive, Rodan. A city overflowing with gentle joy. This is pretty amazing, man. Cars and shit. Like, look at, look at this. I'm talking about Valkyrie Drive. I wanted that game so bad, but I didn't have the money. I had to choose between this game, Pokemon, and Shin Megami Tensei. Um, uh, Shin Megami Tensei 4 Apocalypse. Hmm. Yeah, financial stuff is always a fucking drag, isn't it? Let's see, so what else is there for us to do here? Actual cars in Pokemon! We saw cars in black and white, but they were kind of absent in X and Y. But now look, they've made a return, and in a big way. These people we can interact with. Yo, we have a Pukumuku! Aww. It has no attacking moves, man. What kind of shit is that? Yeah, slow poke. It really has its own tempo. Never confused. Or to take a hint, leave me alone already. Would you slow poke? God damn. That's kind of fucked up. No slow poke ain't hurting you. About to get our fucking beach shoes wet. Forks for sale says this game feels very alive. Exactly my sentiment, man. This game feels like it's thriving, like, like it's breathing. What else is going on in Howley City? Pretty amazing looking city. Is that a tree that fell over? No, I can't tell. Ah. Hey, Etika, I thought I recognized the sound of those feet. My man Howl has a foot fetish. Well, oh, it seems like the perfect place. Everybody's always on the beach and shit. Good job, man. So, what do you think? Howley something, huh? Alola's gotta be the best place ever to live. Oh yeah. Yeah, to come in here with me. I got something. I got a good idea of something that you could do. What is it, tourism bureau, my boy? Hey miss, is it true that you can get some kind of special gift if you have a Rotom Dex? I don't think anyone has it, but it's true. You get a special gift. It's your very own Poke Finder. Yeah, 5th gen was my favorite gen as well, Abigail, but I think that might be trumped by... <laughs> that might be trumped by 7th gen. Isn't that awesome? You get a Poke Finder. It's a tool that lets you take photos of Pokemon. Oh, this is our Pokemon Snapshot. Tap on Rotom and press R. That's all it says. Quite simple, eh? So we use the Rotom to take the actual pictures? That Rotom Dex is cool. It's like a whole nother partner. I mean, on top of your partner Pokemon. But I guess since it's Rotom inside, it's pretty much a Pokemon partner. Either way, you're damn lucky. Meet outside when you're done in here. Alright, man, I think we are done right now. So we got to use that finder at some point. A Poke Finder? I want to give it a try. But, boy, I might never ever want to leave this Pokedex. Well, I'm glad that you're enjoying yourself. And then Shadow Colossus says, Etika, have you watched Monster Musume yet? I watched that first episode on my own. That is a fucking ridiculous anime, and it is hilarious and cute as hell. And if I watch it on stream, my channel gets shut down. Fuck. 
Did you visit the tourist bureau? Yep. I'm ready to take some pics. I'm about to be on my voyeurism shit right now. What a wonderful helper you are, Rotom. Hey, what's up, Rotom? He really just... Wow. How rude. What the hell was that for? Go and put the little trickster back in your bag, Attica, and follow me. Enough feasting for the eyes. It's about time that we take care of our stomachs. I couldn't have said it better myself, man. I'm starving. Maybe Rodan just wants to flaunt its new camera function to take more photos. Never thought about trying it out? I think I'll go to the apparel shop to do some shopping of my own. Lily, I'm coming with you, because I need to get these nasty-ass shoes off my feet. I'd rather go barefoot than wear these bitches any longer. I mean, come on, man. Look at, look at these. Man, I got some beach shoes on. What's up, bro? Yo, lucky kid. So you got a Poke Finder. And I guess I'll give you a little tip. That's what the Poke Finder's for? See where the wall is cracked? That's a photo spot right there. Look at that. Your Rotom's trying to tell you too. Give him a tap. Finders, keepers, and this finder is mine. Press R whenever you see the icon change. Oh, so this is a photo spot. Firing up the Pokemon. You can move the camera all around by using the circle pad. It's always a good idea to try looking at the world from all different kinds of angles. When the time is ripe and you frame the perfect shot, press the R or A button. Each time you fire up the Poke Finder, you can take six picks before you run out of space. Oh, and you can also use the um, gyroscope to take the pictures too. Let me see. So we can't turn it too far to the side. So let me see what do you do. Oh, and we can turn the gyroscope off also. And this is the version one Poke Finder. What does that mean? Maybe we can get updated as we continuously play the game. How do we zoom in? That's pretty cool. You can still take some more pics. Are you ready to move on already? Yeah. What kind of photo do you want to show the world, bucko? Let's do this one. Wow. Those are actual comments? No, 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 that can't be. Look at that fine sky. There's no sky in the picture, my boy. What kind of camera are you using? That's a potato. That's a, so this is like a social network. You hit a new high record, kid. You're just blowing me away. Seems like you can get version 2 if you get a total of 1,500 thumbs up on your photos. That's pretty easy, though. Save the photo to the SD card? I'll do that. And it's been saved. So let's continue, man. Did you get a good shot? I hear it's best to try to photograph Pokemon from the front. Thanks for the tip, dude. Plenty of shops to check out in Howley. Even an apparel shop. If I had a body, I'd go. <laughs> nice. I love this little Rotom. Is this the apparel shop? I see my girl Lily out there. It's time. Tell me, Etika. Do you pick out all your own clothes? Clearly not. I was just living with moms. My mom does it. She must have a great sense of style. I love the way that you dress. Are you trying to flatter me? I, I don't need that. I've always worn clothes that my mother wanted me to wear. I don't really know what kind of thing that would suit me. But that's not why I stopped you. I meant to give you this. I received it in the apparel shop. I ain't buying anything. They said I was the 900... <laughs> the 9... The 99,999th customer to visit the store. But I already have the same one. So I thought that maybe you might want it. I'll take it. Whatever the fuck it is. I'm interested in Etika's photo gallery on his 3DS. There's nothing on this one, because it's a brand new, well, you know, online loader hacks 3DS. Looks like we got something in common now, don't we? Tee hee indeed, Lily. Tee hee 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 hee. So now... There's even government offices here in Haoli. Just what everyone wants in paradise. Oh, Rotom. Let me see, so I want to go in here and change these nasty ass fits. 
When we walk out of here, man, Lily's fucking eyeballs are gonna fall out. It sounds more of a negative thing than a positive. Let me see here. See now, wow, we got all sorts of ethnicities in here. I love this. If you wanna change your contacts or your outfit or anything, use the fitting room. It's the one with a nice big mirror. Let's buy us some fits. Etika, can I send you a 3DS theme through DMs on your Twitter? Yeah, sure thing, man. Let's buy some clothes, man. Welcome. How do I try out some fit? Like, like, I want to try some shit out. Let's change our clothes. What do they have available? A tropical tea? Hell no. No bottoms available, my nigga? How lame is this? Wow, this is actually fucking lame. Are these the clothes that I have? Can we buy, like, you updated your ID? Okay. So, can I buy more and then change? I hope you enjoy this game a lot from Vitzel. Yo, I'm loving it so far. That's your own inventory. Yeah, that's why I figured. So let's buy some more fits. Alright, man. So, let's see what we have here. Tank tops. More tanks. Let's see what the pants are looking like. Capris all over the place. What the fuck? And these don't seem that expensive. We have a pretty good amount of money on us, so we can buy, you know, if you just see one outfit that we like. Why are these all capris for, my nigga? And what kind of hot pants are these? They got socks in this. Let's change our shoes. No shoes available. That's the worst part of his outfit. I can deal with the striped shirt and the, the the gray and red capris. They can they can be pulled off, but those those fucking those those goddamn waterlogged shoes, man. I can't deal with those. Man. Wow, wow. I'm not gonna put on a fucking black tank top with some black capris and some blue. Fucking nasty. <laughs> Let Mystery says those are some nasty ass J's. Yo, word. Where did he pick these shits up from? Nigga, pick these shits up from Chinatown, my boy. Some fake ass J's. Some fake ass Yeezys, man. Will Nintendo do a thing even if you don't upload this until after the release? Yeah. <laughs> Let me see. I don't see. I'm not gonna change my outfit if I can't change those fucking shoes. It's not worth it. This is gonna look like a mess. Thank you. Actually, no, I'll change my fucking capris so I can wear something that matches. I don't know why this boy's wearing some dark pants if he's got on like a fucking striped shirt. I'll change these. I'll change these up. I might as well put some white capris on. Yeah, I'll take these. Oh, I might as well put these on. Alright, so we got those. Put up tank top, that's what you have right now. I guess I might as well change it up, right? Alright, so I'm gonna change my tank to make it something that goes with this blue theme. My boy got- okay, we got some regular tees too. A polo? Really? I fuck with a polo. I'm gonna go I fuck with a polo. Surfing tank. There's a lot of options here with the um, tops, isn't there? Interesting. A lot of the top options, man. And barely anything for pants. Why? No, let me get this. Why not? Do you think we'd be able to buy some ridiculous over-the-top outfits later on? I hope we are. If there's one thing that I know they learned from the transition of X and Y to ORAS is that people loved the customization. That was a major, that was a major key for niggas. So I hope that they give us a ton of options, hairstyles and all that. So we're going to change our shit here. We're going to put on this um, drop to, you know, this, this tank. Then we're going to throw in these capris. I don't even know if I like them. Those fucking shoes, man. 
Yeah, I'll change into this. And then let me see here. I think I'm gonna. My boy's fitted. No, don't call me fitted when I'm rocking around with these. Actually, that's not too bad. I don't think that's so. Like, I actually like that. It's better than how he was looking before. That striped ass shirt. Nigga looking like the fucking Undertale avatar. Nigga looking like the human. Let me see what, what can I do with these hats, man. Can I take my hat off? I think I'm gonna take this black ass hat off. I don't need this on right now. I'm chilling in Alola. The sun is beating down. I think the hat might, well, it might give me some shade for my eyes, but I mean, you know, I don't really need no hat. I take that shit off. Let me see here. I'm gonna take that shit off. Yeah, I don't need that. There we go. We'd be able to buy some cosmic samurai armor or some shit extremely late game. That would be cool. Alright, I'm looking better now. Let's do it. Now, this is a lot better. Do they not have nappy hair or any other options? I don't know if we've encountered the um, hair place yet. I guess we can't change hair in there, but maybe we can do it somewhere else. Play mystery, you out, my boy? Later, fam. What else is up in Alola in, in Howley? Howley City? The Pokemon Center, do we need to heal up? Nah, we're good. Let's drop Lily's eyeballs. Yeah, this time, you know, I said that that probably doesn't sound like a good thing, but her eyeballs are gonna fall out when she sees us, man. But at least we look better than we did before. I saw those Team Skull numb skulls. Okay, my bad, the magnet fell out again. So, Team Skull is now gonna be introduced. This is what happens when young people have nothing to do and too much time on their hands. Couldn't have said it better myself. What a bunch of useless niggas. All they do is drag trainers into battles they don't want to steal people's Pokemon. Damn. They keep trying to sneak into the trial site to steal Pokemon to sell, and they fail every single time. Right. Did I hear someone say Team Skull? In the marina? Bzz. So someone wants to cast this work, Rotom. Let's, let's, let's find these niggas. You can change your hair and color? Okay. Hair was in the other shop, my nigga? Really? Hold on, before we encounter Team Skull, let's make sure that my fucking do is on point. I wish and pray to God that they have a high top fade option, but they probably don't. It's fucking Masuda at the end of the day. Is this the hair is this the hair salon? No, this is the food court. Alola. Oh no, this is the hair salon. Hey! I thought it was the food shop. That'd be disgusting. This is music, man. Etika, if you rotate the D-pad so that your character spins, he will actually twirl. Try it out for the fun of it, really? I hope boys don't have only three hairstyles versus the girls 15. That better not be the case. I will fucking make a post on Twitter and riot, even though I shouldn't be playing the game right now because it didn't even come out officially yet. As long as you're here, you might as well update your look before you go. Of course. Let me get a cut. Cut and color. 5,000? No problem, baby. I'm balling right now. Do you have any um, skin dyeing? We want, can we be on our Michael Jackson shit and change our skin tone, perhaps? I want to be a tiny bit darker, but in a more human-looking way. You have to totally give up gossiping about your friends and celebrities. No excuse for anything. What the hell was that? Medium and layered? Can I see how it looks ahead of time? Can I get like a preview? X and Y didn't give you previews either. I don't know how that looks. Medium and smooth. How is this even gonna look? I don't know what a modern quiff looks like. How? Once again, man, they're gonna make me waste 5,000 polka dollars just to like trial and experiment with the shit. God damn. A Caesar? Medium and layered. It'll look the same as what you got going on right now. Oh no. Th these are the only styles. Hopefully when we get to another city, they have more options. But for now, let's go with, um, you know what? I just want to change my color. I'll try these out later, but I can't back out. So it's 5,000 wasted. Medium and smooth. No. Okay, I'm just gonna go for the style that I have now and just change the color to black. 
color-wise. Let's go for black. Black today, yes. 5,000 wasted. Or at least, you know, 2,500 wasted. Only five hairstyles. Wow. That's not jet black. That's not like jet black. Like, her hair is darker than mine is. Come on, baby girl. You could have done me better than that. I think I look worse, actually. <laughs> Alright, man. So, my goal was to make us look like we are ready to take on Team Skull. But instead, we look like even more of a bitch than we did before. Why did why are there no high top fades in this game, man? Like y'all, but I feel so discriminated against. Only six hairstyles, man. I know if I was the female character, I would have been plenty more. How's it, Etika? You looking for good eats? You found them. Plus, Malasada makes your Pokemon like you. An affectionate Pokemon are better in battle. Who could resist giving their Pokemon some Malasada? Now I got some fuel, I want to go right down to the mar marina and scream out loud. Watch me, Tutu. Nah, watch me, world. I'm going to beat even my old Gramps someday. Team Skull or Malasadas? How do we choose? I want to check out both. No, uh, no, nah, we're going to just go fuck up Team Skull real quick. I want to see what these boys are. Like, what are they doing down there? Sorry, I keep taking the magnet out. This cord keeps pushing it. 22 hairstyles for the female. 22? I'm salty as hell. Yes, I'm salty, Zim. I'm salty. We got a couple of Machamp in there. Not sure what them boys are doing. Police station. Let's run to the marina and see what these boys, these Team Skull knucklehead niggas are doing. Oh, and that's my nigga down there. That's, uh... That's my nigga Lima right there. Captain Lima. Yo, yo, check it. Whenever, wherever we meet you, Team Skull don't even, don't even greet. Oh, these niggas be rhyming? These boys rhyme. I never played the demo, so I don't know what they talk like. But... Really? These niggas are clowns. So, Cap, just give it the Pokemon, yo. Oh, you're from the trainer school. You already made your way to the whole league, huh? These niggas, they're like, wait a minute, you ain't paying attention to us? What up, nigga? You ain't even. We about to rob your bitch ass. What? You trying to act hard when we already hard as bone out here, homie? These niggas on Team Skull are some goons. They goonies. Yo, let's check these fools. Wow, these boys are from the streets. Oh my, how terrifying. Only thieves steal people's Pokemon, and I won't stand for it. Etika, wasn't it? I'll ask you to take care of that one. I'll get rid of this one. These boys are Team Skull, they from the streets, nigga. Oh, a battle against those Team Skull numbskulls in the marina? Count me in. Bro, then we gonna give these niggas the work. Step off while I'm battling, homie. These posing ass niggas, y'all ain't from the streets. Y'all ain't from the hood. Yo, check how I changed the game with my mad Pokemon skills. These boys are hilarious. These animations, wow. What an intro. Team Skull theme is so sick. Nigga, you want this work? You, if you say the N-word, that's your ass, my nigga. I'm playing. Let's go, Papio. I know you niggas got leech life now. I don't give a fuck. That water gun still gonna blow you away. Someone said, oh man. Absorb! I forgot about that. Whatever, ain't no giga drain. You see the team skull nigga in the back? He's like, yeah, nigga, we got this shit. <laughs> These dudes are fucking hilarious. I love them. It's so modern. It's so fresh and hip. Team Skull are them niggas. He's like, yo, B, what's up? You ignoring us, nigga? <laughs> Young Goose level 8? Metapod 2? Everybody's getting that experience. They are edgy as hell. For real? Over already? The nigga's like, what? I just got... Look at this man's face, my boy. Wow, we really did blow him back. Oh no fair, I was playing a different game. Ooh, y'all better run. Yo, let's get about this port, B. Nothing, nobody has to know about this. You boys selling you from New York, but y'all ain't even got your Tims on. We don't need your whack Pokemon anyway, Lima. 
Word up. Let's get the fuck out. Oh, bitch asses. These, 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 these boy, these pussy boy niggas. Man, fuck a Pokemon battle. These goons would have caught the hands. Fuck, fuck a Pokemon, nigga. Fuck a Poplio. Fuck a Zubat. I would have been like, square up, nigga. Knuckle up. It's time. You boys really want to do this right here on the marina? You think just because there's a bunch of people out here that I ain't willing to give you the work, my nigga? Come on, bro. Y'all ain't from the streets. These niggas ain't from the hood. These fucking these these, these what is? I don't know what these boys are doing out here. These these wigger ass niggas. <laughs> These one, two Jump Street boys, man. Yo, this ain't our game. I was playing Pokemon Sun from Jay Stoney. Yo, word. My thanks to you and your Pokemon. Let me heal him up. I must admit, I've been wondering about you since I saw you in the trainer school. And we defeated a, we defeated the teacher so easily. Let me see if you're ready for the trial. So you about to battle us too? This isn't the trial itself though, right? He's just testing us out. Behold the magnificent Pokemon of the one and only Captain Ilma. Lima. Ilma? I am fucking up that name. Captain Lima. Two Pokemon? If you got something that beats water, I'm fucked. So Etika, what do you think actually so Etika, what do you actually think about NW player 123? I think she's fucking awesome, man. Like she's helped me out with so much crazy stuff in the past. And she makes great content. On top of it all, a hacker like that, she's got a lot of points going for her, man. She's a great person. What the hell? Lima, Lima you usually play it real cool. Like, he's a real chill, chill dude, but in this battle, he's like, yeah. Are Yo, you trying to get on Team Skull's level? What kind of pose is that? All right, now that looks more befitting of you. That's more of a cool pose. But that Young Goose about to cast his work, though. Young Goose, Mean Mug, Il Ilima, Lima? Is that how you say it, Jace County? Ilima? Alright. So, did he just use Growlings? That water gun didn't do too much damage, though, did it? Poplio, hit him with the baby doll eyes. Lower that attack. We need to preserve your HP as long as possible. Tackle? That ain't gonna do shit to us. Baby doll eyes, baby. That was a crit. It wasn't a crit. Jesus. Water gun. Leer. Oh, he lowered our defense. Oh. Fuck. We're gonna have to switch it up, man. This nigga's gonna keep using that Leer on us. But I don't wanna bitch out. Baby doll eyes. It's a capital I, not a lowercase L. Ilima? Ilma? So I'll just say Ilma from now on. He keeps lowering our fucking defense, man. Like, we're like at neutral right now. Because my defense is down three stages. His attack is down two stages. So you know what, man? You want to keep playing that game? I'm going to hit you with these baby doll eyes. Shadow Colossus says, I had to switch Pokemon out constantly. We're not going to play that game. I'm just going to keep baby doll eyes in him. You lower my fucking defense, I'll lower that attack. No problem. The thing is, is that I'm gonna probably have to switch out once he um, gets his new Pokemon in there, so it's all good. I'll just heal Poplio up a bit. If he gets a critical, it's my ass. That's gonna break. That's gonna give him full attack, and then he's gonna be able to hit me through all of his um, attack lowering. No crits. Young Goose, thankfully, is slower than Poplio somehow. But then again, we're jobless, so it makes sense. Good job, Poplio. Mean mugging us. Oh, he didn't level up. And we have a Smeargle. Boy, I drew that weapon like a Smeargle. And he's level 10. This is going to be actually kind of tricky. So let's switch out now and just give niggas some fodder. Who has the most defense out of everyone in our team right now? Um, it's Metapod, I think. It is Metapod. Wow, Poplio's defense is 19, though. So Metapod is not going to take attacks well. I'm not sure if the Smeargle is going to be special or not. Lima is a trap. Lima. Lima is a trap. Yeah, I know. It took me a while until I realized what gender he was. Not that I need to identify somebody by the gender. I'm just saying. Um, Chris19 Dub, man. What's up, man? He says, you're still playing this? Hell yeah. Did this nigga just use fucking Razor Leaf? We got a problem. But I'm still gonna have Poplio come in. He's gotta heal my nigga up. 
and he's got tackle, and that did a fuck ton of damage. Jesus. Let's lower his speed, make it a little easier for us. We're in trouble. He has fucking... He has fucking Razor Leaf. What is the summary looking like, man? Pursuit, Leer... It's not gonna help us, we need to lower special defense. Fuck me, man, we might be in trouble here. The nigga had a Razor Leaf. A Razor Leaf is physical. So maybe we should be okay as long as we keep Baby Doll eyes here. No, we're still gonna try to throw some fodder at him. Jay Stanti says, I think this is the longest amount of time that I've watched someone else play a Pokemon game. I don't like watching people play Pokemon either, but... Hey, if you're, if you're entertained, man, I'm happy. So we could lower his defense. Or rather, Leer would lower it would lower his defense. We could hit him with pursuit. It's not gonna do shit though. Lowering his defense wouldn't help either, because Poplio, you know, special attacker. Let's just tackle him. Let's just lower his HP as little as we can. This is gonna hurt a lot. Woo! Oh, we did some damage there. Okay, young goose. What did he hit us with? I keep missing what the move was. Was it Razor Leaf? Alright, Lady, but now's your time. You're a bug and flying type, so you should be able to take whatever the hell that grass move was, no problem. What you got? What does Super Sonic do again? Lower his defense, right? They could confuse the target. It's actually kind of good. Maybe we can. Maybe this can help. Tackle. And hopefully this works. Alright. Is Poplio's HP completely restored? That's close enough. So now... Let's tackle him. His defense seemed... Full heal?! Come on! Ilma, are you really serious, my boy? Alright, so he's playing for keeps. He's probably got some potion or some shit on him. Alright, that's fine. Alright, we Trump, indeed. Alright, now let's do it. Poplio, it's your time to shine, my boy. Now, let's baby doll eyes him, lower that attack stat, so we can at least take those hits from whatever that grass move was. I think it was Razor Leaf, but I might be wrong. Leafage. Okay, so it's still a physical move. He's not gonna do a lot with that. Baby doll eyes! Come on, baby, let's do it. Baby doll eyes. Water gun, this should do a fuck ton of damage. But he's faster than us. Don't crit me. There we go, Poplio. Ooh. I want to use... Oh, man. I want to use another... Um... He's faster, though, so I gotta really be careful. I want to use another Baby Doll Eyes. Use another Baby Doll Eyes. It'll reduce his attack so much that nigga won't be able to do shit to us. Use another one. He won't be able to do anything. No, no damage there, no damage, not enough, not enough, not enough. Poplio! And now we're good, so I can heal him up, he'll be fine. Nice. Even if he gets a critical hit, even if he gets a crit, it's not gonna do that much. Just to spare us from the crit. Let's use a potion. Let's just, just keep it safe here. That was pretty damn close. He survived with 3 HP, my boy. Full HP now, we're good. Take it! Is that a crit? Not even. Another water gun, man. Let's do it. Good shit. Very good shit. Too bad the niggas fainted so they won't get experience from this, but... We had to do it. Good job, Pablo. His speed stat sucks dick, man. Yes, you've emerged victorious. And you got that cheddar on you too? That was pretty close, Abigail. Mm-hmm. You got that business. I hope you'll come to Verdant Cavern and attempt the trial of Ilma. There you can you can get there from Route 2. The Rotom decks of yours will show you the way. 
I bid you a look. Indeed. See you later on, Elmer. I'll be better prepared for you at that point. Route 2 is just too exciting to miss today. There is two... Wait, what? Route 2 is too exciting to miss today. There is two it. Plus, two plus two buildings to find. Wait, what the fuck, Votem? You confusing me, my nigga. Yeah, it looks like the same place where Dio found the mass power, to be honest. Kind of, sort of does. Let's head to the Pokemon Center real quick. We'll head to the candy shop later on. Wait, what? If we if we spam B button, he does like this tripping animation after a little while. A little attention to detail with stuff like that is pretty cute. So we're gonna heal up. Once again, a victory grab by Poplio. Thank you for putting in that work, my nigga. That wasn't even Ilma's final form. We might be fucked when it comes to things actually getting difficult. Alright, let's pull out of here. I really want a rock rough, dude. Like, I I hope you catch one soon. Wait for me, Attic. What's up, Lily? The first letter is an I. Ilma, right? Abigail says, spin the circle pad and make him spin. I'm glad to see a familiar face. I always get lost so quickly. That city is massive, so... I don't blame you. I can't figure out roads, and I didn't even buy my own clothes. But you, you're moving on to your first trial. Going to Verdant Cavern? I read something in an old book, and it said that the island challenges were once a journey. That the, um, made to prove yourself and gain the strength to battle against the guardian deities of Alola. Like Tapu Koko. The people in Iki Town said that Tapu Koko loves Pokemon battles, don't they? If we could meet Tapu Koko once more, do you think we could find the answer to why it saved you and Nebi that day? Every time, every time this nigga Cosmog is mentioned, he's always wilding out in the back. We got this trial in the back though, man. Just like you got that fucking, that, that Cosmog in the back. I think I see something in front of Route 2. Something I didn't really want to see again. The fucking Tauros. Hey, Etika, I got this orny creature calmed again for now. Wanna try giving him a little pat? It's the only way that he's gonna get used to. Alright, man. Once more. Moo. You're not a cow, you're a bull. Maybe old Tauros here can feel your love for Pokemon. He sure seems happy to know you. And yet, he still seems to like... He still seems to me like Tauros wants to stretch his legs on his own island. Can we catch you? I think he'd be a huge help. Now you want to play tag. The Mele Mele Kahuna never loses, friend. You get your ass in there, Gramps. You only as old as they say. Only as young as you feel. What do you think there is beyond Route 2? It's too much. What was that, Rotom? What do you think there is beyond Route 2? I can't wait to see it all. Let's do it, man. Route 2. A path through many grassy patches. And we have more cutie patooties. And we have... Is your new trainer, too? Careful. Have you seen the way the grass shakes? The rustling grass hides a Pokemon that's dying to pounce on some easy trainer. By battling those feisty creatures can be worth it. They sometimes drop items. Well then, let's see what the fuck this is. Makuhita! Alright. Alright, that arm thrusting nigga. I think we should have a fighting type too. But I don't want to catch any lesser gen Pokemon. I want seven. There's so many voice that Sand attack? You cheesing ass motherfucker. Let's hit him up. This might not work. Oh, it's gonna work? You got it. Makuhita! That's a fighting type. You know, and I, I'm not gonna get rid of it. Are we good? No, we don't really need to care, do we? Nice. Why don't you check out what just kind of Pokemon it is you caught, pal? Daily routine consists of training together first thing in the morning, eating and napping in the afternoon, and then more training afterwards. 
How typical. Get your ass in the bag. That Pokemon's kind of thick. What the fuck? Poplio, man, you found yourself into some shit, my nigga? Ew. Yeah, man, hold on a second. Yo, dirty ass. What the fuck? Dusting off sand. How the hell did you get some sand on you, man? Oh, wait, we were on a beach. That's why. Come on, Poplio, your ass is messy as hell. Yeah, you good, my boy? Come here, you cute. Oh, my bad. Come here, you cute little son of a bitch. Let's get out of here. What's this? An Oran Berry. I'll take it. And we got a trainer. There was no way we were going to avoid you, huh? Welcome, Trial Gore. You think you can handle the ordeal of beating a beauty? I would never be a beauty. I'm not no fucking domestic abuse type nigga. Wow. She is pretty though, man. Like, holy crap. This game has amazing looking models. And she's got a gas leak? Shit. That's a spooky white right there. I'll take it. Let's go, Poplio. Mean look. Isn't that the same eyes as baby doll eyes? Nigga, he hit you with a sand attack. Hit me with a sand attack and Poplio was covered in sand. That is hilariously adorable. More thickness. Thick Makuhita. Thick beauty. Wow. That does kind of suck considering we have to use him for the long term with water gun. Wish I had a gas one. Whoops. There we go. She said, have you even... She said something about finishing her trial? What was that? Rotom Dex? Cool, cool. Just touch Rotom and it will teach you many things. Oh, can you teach me some things? So this is something like a HM. If you travel, if you go ahead through the grass here, you can reach the cemetery where Pokemon rest. Many trainers visit it to pay their respects. Ah. So this way is to the Pokemon Cemetery. Let's go there, man. I want to see what that's all about. Howley Cemetery. Within lies eternity. Jesus. So that's probably where she got her ghastly from. Why is the music still so cheery, even though we're in a place where niggas have died? And why are trainers doing battles here? This is sacred ground. That's fucked up. That's a trainer too? God damn. Do these niggas even give a fuck? These niggas don't give a fuck. Abigail says, I need to dip. I'm really low on data until next week. Abigail, man, it was nice having you around. Thanks for the love, dude. From light to dark real quick. I don't know. That's disrespectful. There's dead niggas in there, and y'all are really trying to have battles? Show some respect. TM100, confide. Okay. Drifloon? Wow! Interesting Pokemon. That's disrespectful, Letica. You stole an offering. That TM was a Pokemon's offering. Whoops. My bad. Poplio, how could you? Let's beat this Drifloon's ass before we steal some kids. Minimize, you son of a bitch. Don't you even dare. This man's trying to use Verlicify tactics right now. Oh, God. Wait a minute. I know I have disarming voice. It's not going to do that much, though. This thing is special. He's special defensive. He's going to have to beat disarming voice, I guess. Oh, my. Fine. This is going to do barely anything. That's how astonished looks? Wow, that's pretty cool, actually. Okay, it did more damage than I thought it would. Because I'm not a fairy, so I don't have stab bonus yet, but... Okay. Let's 
attack this bitch. Okay. Level 14 already. Nice. Young Goose and Metapod. We're about to get a Butterfree in this bitch. You ain't stealing no kids, my boy. If y'all don't know what the reference is to that, look up Drift Glim um, in its Pokedex entries. If for some reason it's body burst, it's soul spills out with a screaming sound. Damn. Everything about that entry is fucked. Like, everything. Let's get the hell out of here. That's fucked up, man. It's soul spills out if it ever rips with a screaming sound. Jesus. What the hell is this? Oh, this is where that item was? That shit is darker than Shofu? <laughs> Xavier, damn, chilling. Imagine if Minimize causes your trainers to miss with a Pokemon. The same Pokemon Go. No one's missing Pokeballs here. Okay. I think we're good. Oh, whoops. And I missed out. I'll get it later. Man, a Smeargle's in the grass. Wow. A bunch of Pokemon, man. How rare is that? Sketch? You ain't drawing me. I don't really know if I would care to catch a Smeargle, but... I mean, this seems kind of rare, so I'll catch it. And he's using Struggle? Wow. And this is gonna kill you. Fuck. Fuck. You're done at struggling and shit. This ladybug got a lot. And Makuhira! Hell yeah. Take out. I'll take it. Get rid of focus energy. Um, Jay Stone T says, I haven't played the 6th gen games. So seeing the experience here, it's a really convenient item. To be honest, it is. You don't really have to spend a lot of time. Ooh, and a lonely me up. Okay. The dark type would be nice. Let's try disarming voice. I might do enough damage to. Oh, I don't think that. Wait, when he attacks, he's like, Phew. <laughs> dance. Ouch. But it's too bad your ugly ass ain't gonna be evolving on my watch. Nasty ass fucking Persian ass. Perfect. Bobby was too cool. Under participating Pokemon in your party get 50% of the experience with experience share. It's a little OP, but I mean, it's convenient in situations like this where, you know, where you're doing an LP and you kind of want to put emphasis on getting through things fast. My man Drift Loon, level 10. I see you, my boy. Alone in me up. When, it, when its delicate pride is wounded or when the gold coin in its head is dirty, it flies into a hysterical rage. Jesus. Okay, so we can actually choose to make me outstay and another Pokemon go. Thank you, Game Freak, for making that an option. I don't know if that existed in Oras, but I appreciate having that option here. You can choose now, so he doesn't just automatically send the last nigga. You have a decision. Thank you. You have options. Is there a Pokemon Center around here, guys? Nope. Let me heal up a little bit. This, Papio. Excellent. Let 
And we got a trainer. Time to fuck him up. Preschool Pistons, full power. Pistons? What pistons you talking about, my boy? You talking about them weak spaghetti looking arms? Caleb, sit your ass down. And you got a spirit? You know that's the Pokemon that everybody wants to beat the shit out of, right? I'm about to send this man back to school. Get your nasty ass Spiro ass out of my face, man. Hit him with the water gun, man. And a leer? You know how I know this man Spiro's ass? Because your speed is supposed to be better than mine, and yet I still outrun you at 14. Then again, I'm jolly, so it makes more sense. And he's level 8, so I need to This game is extremely cool, Xavier. I know a lot of people would want to watch me play this, but... If I make this stream public, Nintendo would kill me. But it's private, only the sponsors can see it and comment, so... And it's a Deli Bird! Bird. Deli Bird has a hold of your bag and it won't let go. And it wants you to follow it to the berry fields, okay. Another old man from Jack. Something going on? I need my berry supply kept safe. What's up with the berries, man? Team fucking Skull. You got a lame bunch of berries. Now Team Skull's your adversary. Taking berries off your hands is just the start of our plans, yo. Let's get figgy with it. While, watch while I nab me some berries. I'll share my berries for free with any Pokemon, but you'll not have a single one from me. So what? I'm lower than a Pokemon? I already got self-esteem issues, man. <laughs> oh, shit, these dudes are hilarious. Hey, what are you looking at, huh? 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 Hold up, you, you got a bone to pick with us, homie? You and Cat may have beat us at the marina, but you won't get so lucky if we get serious, yo. I appreciate your concern, child. But these Team Skull Punks do nothing but talk big and act small. You carry on with your island challenge. Don't give them a moment's notice. Yo, we're standing right here. At least act a little bit afraid of something, you know? This goon talking about walking close like he's gonna do something. I'll be like, do something, nigga. Do something. Get <laughs> the fuck out of here. You trying to run away? You won't have to take your Pokemon along with the berries. You niggas are talking like you from the streets, but you trying to steal berries? Y'all got your priorities fucked up, and on top of it all, what kind of gangster niggas steal berries from old men? Looking kind of sus. Yo, check out how hard headed Steam Team Skull grunts can be. Bring your ass here, my boy. Dr. Seuss is confirmed to be the leader of Team Skull from Arrow. Oh, God. I like that. These niggas only kung fu shit. Rousey. Okay, blow this man back. He's in. <laughs> Let's go. The Rousey. Wow, that actually didn't do that much. You didn't do that much either. Let's keep him with the water gun. You jolly ass Papio. It's your boy. Guzma! <laughs> Stream crash? Nah, not yet. Did it crash yet? No. Water gun. Hit him with another water gun, my boy. Hey. Alright, so we got some levels here. Experience share OP. OP as hell. Oh, my bad, guys. The magnet again. Yo, I'm feeling mad annoyed that my team just got destroyed. This boy got bars better than Shizzy. Shizzy, I don't know, man. And Metapod already is evolving. I forgot. Bugs usually evolve early as fuck. So this man is about to, about to get a nice clean Butterfree on deck. Got Butterfree? Hey. And 
Butterfree gets Air Slash, and I think it gets another interesting um, addition to its move pool now. So it's not too bad of a Pokemon. Still probably gonna be NU as fuck, or maybe even P. And we got Butterfree. And we have all three of them. Hot diggity, look at you! You're on fire, partner! You filled in the, all the Pokemon on a single page. It's like you're playing bingo over here. When attacked by other Pokemon, it defends itself by scattering its poisonous scales and fluttering its wings. Nice. And it learned Guts. Nice. Poison Powder? No. Yo, for real? You best stop trying to act hard, kid! Yo, I'm so annoyed right now, homie. Let's go mess with Ilma again. <laughs> oh yeah, let's do it. Verdant Cavern is pretty close by anyway. And you! You better listen to what my boy says and drill it into that thick skull of yours. For real, you better not forget, numbskull. These boys are gonna get blown away by a fucking Ilma. Hey, you and your Poplio did a number. Let's, let me thank you for driving off those Team Skull numbskulls. So Delibird brought us here so we could save his, his uh, partner from getting fucked up. Alright man, let's... What'd you say, Rotom? Enough with all this helping folks out of pinches. Let's get to that trial at last, kiddo. Rotom is a little bit too real for this game. Rotom's a little bit too real. He said, let's stop real. Let's stop helping niggas already, man. Like, goddamn. We got shit to do, nigga. So let's give this to Poplio. Yeah, just to help your ass out in case things get rough. Now, actually, I'm supposed to use a potion on him, too. Alright, so are we good now? Let's keep it moving. So we're still technically in Howley? Well, either way, onwards to the trial. And then we have a full party of six niggas now. I'm not sure if Ilma as a trial captain would have a full team. But if he's got, we got a lot of fodder here. <laughs> a bunch of fucking fodder. Everybody as useless as ever. Okay. Well, that's a trainer that we can battle. Let me see here. What else is around? A sparrow. There's no hell. There's no way I'm in hell I'm catching you. You're running. around okay looking at the map is so useful because you get to see where everything is and how to get through certain pathways it's kind of OP when you think about it and she wants business what's interesting in this generation is that since it's 3d models maybe they couldn't really make it so they walk to you so now when they see you it just starts the battle there's no walking to you like they did in previous gens I'm a Drevious. I'm guessing you got it from the cemetery. How do I feel about Gen 7 not making it all just Gen 7 Pokemon when you encounter them in the beginning of the game? It's like, because black and white, you could only encounter um, Gen 5 Pokemon, and then after you beat the game, then you can see the other ones. But I guess it's cool. You know, I don't really mind too much that they didn't implement that for this gen. You can see all those generations of Pokemon throughout the entirety of the um, island. And that's cool. That's fine. Kind of had to do it with the alone ones. Hmm. You know that growling don't do nothing to me, baby girl. Spike. More power points lost. Why are you doing this to me? Yeah, Jugan, the stream is still on, my man. I'm loving this game so far. I'm loving this game. Aqua Jet? I don't know. I mean, do we really need something like Aqua Jet? His attack is 24. Special attack is 24, so he's kind of mixed. 
I don't think we need Aqua Jet. I mean, we have Pound. Yeah, that's the one neutral move in case we run up against the water Pokemon. You know what? Let's get rid of Pound. Why not? Aqua Jet just for the good priority. It could help us out in a pinch since we're a fucking slow ass Poplio with the Jolly Nature. I'm still slow. Well, that was a good move. That was a good move. We got a Super Potion. Let's do it. Alright. My man How is back in the building. Is this Ilma's trial? Yo, how's it, Attica? Your Pokemon doing okay? Yeah, they're fine. Well, I know my team's seen better days, that's for sure. Let's stop by the PMC, Pokemon Center, right? You know that Verdant Cavern place, right? I guess it's sort of like sacred to Tapu Koko. You aren't even allowed to go in it unless you're on the island challenge. I almost forgot. I have something pretty amazing to share with you, you lucky thing. Oh, well, how? What are you gonna grace me with? Whoops. Another time I pulled it out of the fucking socket. My bad. What did he give us? Three revives. That's gonna help out a lot, considering I'm probably gonna get my ass handed to me, because I'm only focusing on Poplio right now. Revives are solid items. If you faint, let me know that. Alright, so he's going to the cafe. I'm gonna go heal up. And Rotom says it's time to take care of Ilma. I'm tingling with excitement, or just electricity. So punny. Level up your other Pokemon? I will, eventually. I want to catch a Pokemon that I really like. I, there's too many cuties in Alola, man. There's too many brown skin tan cuties in this damn region, man. Definitely my favorite just for that. Alright, so I think we have revives, we have potions. I'll fuck with Starbucks later. Etika is pulling out master. Is the pulling out master. Kinda them. That's a trainer! And they caught me slipping. It's a battle. You want the work, I'll give it to you. Poplio is ready to go, man. Just let the Pokemon center. Malia? You need to take your ass back to the trainer school. Cutie fly? This nigga is no bigger than a fucking quarter. You know I'm gonna give him the work. You probably kill that dude just by throwing a Pokeball at him. It's a fairy. It's not grass, it's very bug. Very win. That's our dude, shit to me. Let's finish you with an Aqua Jet. Mixed attacker. Critical hit, too. And Drip Loon leveled up, too. You know what? I said I wanted a gas but Drip Loon's a good option, too, man. And once again, I pulled the magnet out. Sorry, I had to go get a pillow. My back is kind of hurting right now. Sorry about that, dudes. Mm-hmm. I really want Mimikyu and Cutie Fly. Yo, Forks, I want Mimikyu so bad. I think it's one of the coolest Pokemon. So now we're ready for Ilma. What's up, dude? Greetings, Captain Ilma. And my trial? So his trial, are there any other trainers in there? Don't worry, I'm ready, man. You like pumping yourself up a lot, don't you, Ilma? Hell yeah, I'm ready, man. Bring your ass here, dude. This is how we're waiting for you. I got a full team of six right now, and the experience share is giving them all the business. Time for training, time for trials, time for us to storm that verdant cavern. Yo, man, Rotom. We're ready, man. We ain't scared. No bitch niggas, no snitch niggas. Stream policy 2016. Let's finish this shit. And I remember seeing this area in a lot of the preview footage, so it's about to go down. I wonder if there's like a certain type of Pokemon that Ilmo used, because he had what? A Smeargle and a, um... He had a Smeargle and... I can't remember what the other Pokemon was that he had. Let me formally, formally welcome you. I'm Ilma. Let me explain the basics. What you should attempt to do is... What the hell? 
Defeat three of the Pokemon that lurk here in the den. Then reach the pedestal deep within the cave and collect the Z crystal there. You gotta be in sync with your Pokemon to succeed. A totem Pokemon. Oh, alright, so here's where the concept is introduced. So Ilma's trial doesn't necessarily facilitate a battle with him, but there's this certain task that we have to finish. Until you clear the trial, you will not be able to catch Pokemon in Verdant Cavern. This is one of the seven trials you will face during your island challenge. So seven of these dungeons. The trial of Ilma. Wow, this is some... This is some next level shit. Those Pokemon are pretty fierce little things. Good luck getting all the way through the cave. Let's do it, man. Let's save the game. I think we're ready. So we gotta go to each one of these and battle a nigga. They said the Pokemon in the caves are fucking tough. It's a fucking rat attack. I don't give a damn how thick your mustache is. I'm still gonna blow it off. Stop, Leo. Give this nigga to work. And he's a dark type. You know, this is food for me, man. This is food. It's, it's fodder. Hyper fan. Fucking flinch me. Hit him with a disarming voice. We're speed tied. Damn. Um, Jake Stanti says, hey, you have to do these things for me. Forgot to mention, you might die. Well, you might. Thanks for informing me, Ilma. Kind of last minute that I realized my life was on the fucking line. I think I think Aqua Jet over Pound, obvious good choice. Even though we're kind of limited with our type coverage, we have um, Fairy and Water. That's it. But, yeah, that's fine. Poplio, here you go, my boy. All right. This music is so good, by the way, guys. Like, are you hearing this? Super potion will help. What you gotta say, Rotom? Talking about the Pokemon? And the Pokemon actually ran out at us. This better- I know this is gonna be a rare one. Never mind, it's a fucking Rattata. I feel like Pokemon Go was in session with this cave. And if we try to throw a Pokeball at him, there's not even an option for it. This army was. This should kill his ass. This should kill his ass. Hold on, guys. Is the music a little too loud? I don't know. And if we try to throw a Pokeball at him, there's not even an option for it. This army was. Okay, yeah, it's not that bad. I think it's alright. We gotta turn it down a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. I like the music, man. Uh, John, um, Stanti, you said the music is good for you? Alright, man. I'll keep it the way it is. I just turned it down a tad. Just a little tiny bit. Because sometimes I'm further away from the mic since I'm, like, lounging right now. Meowth grew to level 11. As soon as he fucking evolves, that nigga is getting released. I ain't gonna have no swollen face ass motherfucker. Forks, you good for the music? Alright, cool. Thanks for the heads up, dudes. One more defeat, and then we get to take on the totem boss. Is that what they are? The totem boss? There's a, another one back there. And there's a dude on top of the hill. Another dirty ass rat attack. Um, Stanti says, why does this remind me of Mario Kart with the track? It kind of does. There's nothing inside. So let's go to the other one. And thankfully, that confirms there are ledges in this game. If they remove that, you wouldn't be able to call this Pokemon. 
What's the story? There's nothing inside still? So now we gotta walk entirely around. Are you a trainer? Defense. Are you kidding me? Really? Alright, I think this is it. We went around the entire area. Team Skull! Oh, okay. These niggas. Once again, causing trouble, man. Yo, yo, yo! It's your berry thief boys back, back, back again. Remember us? Sorry, who are you? This is hilarious. Oh, I see. Them boys, whenever they get offended, their eyes are like, oh, this nigga talking shit. Just because we switch places, you can't tell who we are anymore? No, dumbass. Who cares about that anyways? We had to mess this trial up, yo. I, um, I forgot entirely that you guys ran down to Ilma's trial. How did you even get in here in the first place? Oh yeah, that's right. Yo, let's get the whole Pokemon, homie. And my nigga, he's just got a huge smile on his face. He's completely vacant. There is nothing inside of him. That man is hollow. He's just like... He's on his fucking Undertale Kara shit, my nigga. I'm just missing the striped shirt now. That drowsy? I'm about to... I'm about to send him away, man. Oh, man. Swag from GLX. Word. He's the village. And that drowsy, did he even level up? Who niggas are slacking out here? There's a bunch of Rattata. Y'all could have leveled up. Y'all could have done yourselves a solid. And your nigga don't even know confusion. Yeah. This music. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go, Pop Leo. Guaranteed. Alright, so Butterfree got a level. And Butterfree got confusion over his fucking drowsy. Get rid of Harden. We don't need that anymore. You've been playing this for like five years? Damn, my boy. Listen, Teverin, I know this is a leak, but. Man, Pokemon Sun and Moon is probably one of the greatest Pokemon games. It's the, no, it, this is the greatest Pokemon game ever made. When it comes out officially, you'll get blown back, man. Trust me, I'm having a blast playing this game. Is it cool for me to be in Team Skull if I'm this brittle? You need to question yourself, man. Am I about to beat your boy up too? What's up with that? Yo, for real, I can't get my skull around it. This kid's mad strong, yo. Get your ass out of here, bro. Don't get in the way of my trial again, and this time I'm gonna make sure you ain't able to walk away. No, it ain't even like that. This kid is straight up dangerous, homie. I don't know, man. This whole place trouble? Yeah, it totally is. Let's dip out on a double. I mean, this thing is so strong that regular Pokemon don't even want to come out and battle. Get your ass out of here. You two goony ass niggas. You goofy niggas. They ran back? Yo, kid, you know there's a mad strong Pokemon lurking back here somewhere, right? I'd run if I were you. Nah, we're not going out like that. We gotta get our revenge. Go stand over that den and catch that sculling Rattata, yo. Yo, for real? Fine, I ain't got no bones to pick with you. I love these dudes so much. I love Team Skull so much. Um, Teravin says, I love seeing you have fun, dude. Fuck all the people bitching about what you should be playing. You're good background noise while I study. I'm glad to hear that, man. You know what I mean? I serve a lot of purposes to different people, I suppose, and if I'm helping you to learn something, then that's a good thing. Let me look inside there. Um, Grandfather says, I love this game so much, I'm playing it a second time. Damn, then they got beat the game already? Jay Stanty says, he's invested in the game. I had the same feeling with Persona 4. This is a very good game, dude. 
Um, Mr. MW said, I actually did a video on how the trainer looks so dead inside. I don't understand how he... The nigga has no soul. Eat that berry, Babu. That didn't even do all that much. Hit him with another one. Focus energy? He's about to hit a crit. Jesus. I'm not scared of no crits. Focus energy again, you dumbass. Stanti says it's called complete apathy. Word. That nigga is hollow, bro. Team Skull came at him talking so much garbage, and he's just like they're waving their hands at him. They look like they're about to scrap. And yet the boy's like, so what? No amount of slang, no amount of no amount of pressing me can quell the fucking emptiness inside. <laughs> you don't intimidate me. I'm too I'm beyond intimidation. Does a demon feel intimidation? No. That's where this nigga's coming from. So now I don't know what this knucklehead is doing. Yo, I'm over this. I'm out. Alright. We're ready for the fucking totem Pokemon, man. Now let's do it. I think Poplio evolves at 18. Now to the heart of the cave. It's finally time to get your mitts on the first Z crystal. Let's see what this Z-Crystal bullshit is all about. You feel a piercing gaze that seems to cut right through you, but from where? Will you take the Z-Crystal from the pedestal? Give me that. And it's a Radata, or Radicate. That's a big ass Radicate. That's a huge Radicate! The totem Pokemon of Verdant Cavern has appeared. I love the totem battle thing, man. This shit goes so heavy. I'm turning the volume up on this one. I'm turning the volume up on this one. That Raticate is huge, nigga! He's the size of a balloon! A hot air balloon! Wow. Uh oh, I didn't even save the game. Fuck it, we don't need that. Pop Leo, let's go! And he lowered my defense. No, no, no. No, no, no. We gotta baby doll eyes this bitch. Oh, and, we did, and we got a crit. And there's an ally. So he's gonna. Two of them are gonna jump us? Alright, that's fine. Y'all both can catch the word. As long as you ain't got Super Fang. Don't cut my HP enough. Baby doll eyes. And the game is lagging now. Really? Hit the fucking Raticate up. That's a thick Raticate coming from um, Kisa. Back off. Focus energy from you. What is your little ass gonna do? Let me hit, make sure I hit that, um, that totem up with another fucking baby doll eyes. This music is so good. Oh my god. There we go, Poplio. That's nothing. Baby doll eyes all day. Now we're ready to fuck him up. Oh my god, check the music volume. That's nothing. Baby doll eyes all day. Okay, we're good. You can turn it up. Oh, it hits both of them. I didn't even realize it was a double hit. Poplio, you got this! And that was a crit. Ooh. But he used focus energy, so that's why. Super potion, I'm glad we saved him. There we go, Poplio. Colossus, I wouldn't be surprised if this was orchestrated either. This is a really good song. Quick attack. That Raticate is. That, that, the Raticate is doing more damage than the Raticate. They're doing a lot of damage to me. Jesus. I gotta take one of them out. I'm taking out that Radica, uh, that Radita, because that nigga is. When I'm when I'm taking hits from both of them, at least Radicate 
He used Tail Whip on me though, so that's probably why he's doing more damage. Just fucking Tail Whip it as Raditate. Makuhita. Oh, hell yeah, definitely. Force Palm is special? Or is it physical? Physical. Arm thrust. I'm not a dirty ass nigga who uses fucking sand attack and evasion or any moves. I'm good. This music is so good. And a bite. He's a dark type, it might fuck us up. I don't know what we should do here. Let me see. Super potion again. Stanti, what did you say? I missed Stanti's message. What was it? It's an awkward gem. Stanti, what'd you say, man? He said, Etika, I meant to say this earlier, but do you think I could get a quick birthday? Um, do you think I could get a quick birthday shout out? It was my birthday on election day, and these past few streams have really been a joy. I'm glad to make your day, man. Hopefully you're having a good time in the stream. And if you're watching this on YouTube, hopefully you're having a good time in the future. When the, this comes out on the 18th, uh, I hope it'll still be relevant. I don't know, because when this comes out, Donald Trump would have been president for like a good, you know, couple days. So, the world might be destroyed by then. Hopefully that's not the case. Safeguard. Reflect is good though. Everyone's gaining levels, man. Focus energy, drift room, no. Hey, Papio, let's go! Little nigga! That's my little nigga. Let's go, Papio. And you trained those Pokemon? We did it, man. And the Z-Crystal is ours now, so we can learn a couple of new Z-Moves now? I'm glad you're all having a good time in the stream, man. Colossus, I appreciate it. Let's do it, man. Mr. MW says, the world can't end yet. I need that switch first. I will get it. A Normalium Z. You open up the Z Crystal's pocket and put the Normalium Z away. So what does that do? What you just received is the normal Z Crystal. Now if you let a Pokemon... What? Whoa. So a normal Pokemon holding the Z Crystal with the Normalium Z can use a crazy move. A huge ass, fat ass radicate. Yeah, that's some JoJo shit right now. I think. And during battles against such Pokemon, they summon allies. It's not a tactic seen in re other regions. And Pokemon in Alola are simply more inclined to help each other. That's the way it's looked at. Since you managed to defeat the totem Pokemon and proved yourself, you can now try to catch any of the Pokemon you find here in this cave. Some, in fact, have some great balls. I don't want any of these motherfucking annoying Rattata niggas. I didn't see a single rare Pokemon from when we walked in here. All I saw was that big ass Raticate. I don't care about that dude. But thanks for the thanks for the support though, Ilma. I have something interesting to show you on Route Three. If you want to see more of that Dreamboat Ilma, he's waiting for you outside of that cave. Okay, Rotom. I see you. I see you. Rodan's got the hops for that nigga Ilma, man. And we gotta come back here when we have the ability to break down these rocks. So for now, we are headed outside of the cave, onwards to Route 3. This gen has a lot of similarities to Part 7. In fact, also Gen 7. And we're getting jumped by another nigga. This better not be a Radita. It's a fucking Radita. Oh, 
Okay. Let's get the fuck out of here. Um, Jat says, remember when you had some Switch news? Is that still on? It's still on, Niggy. Trust me, the Switch news is definitely still on. Etika, what do you think of the Switch? I love the concept. I'm just worried if it'll have the power to be able to play games to the, fatel to the fidelity that we would want when you um, are on the go. What the hell is that? All of that cre- the, the intros and the battles are amazing, but it's always a letdown when it winds up being a Pokemon like this. Fuck you, Zubat. Elika, tell us what the Switch news is? I can't tell you right now. Oh, I missed the fucking- Now I gotta go all the way back. God fucking damn it. Nasty ass Radita. I thought that with you being in a lowland form, that maybe you'd be more rare and interesting, but you're not. You're just a fucking waste of space, and you can't even get away from me because I'm slow as hell. The new Final Fantasy demo is out, man. Let's get the hell out of here. Alright, we are out. What's up, Ilma? Captain Barricades. As long as they clear the trials, they're ready. Hold the power of a captain. The power of a captain. All you did was press a button, my own, my, my my boy. It was one button, and he's acting as if he moved the barrier himself using his ultimate strength. Nah. Voila! Your world just got a little bigger. I'm the only captain here on Melee Melee Island, meaning my trial is the only one here. Now that you've cleared the trial, please inform our island Kahuna, Hala. And Kukui's on the other side. What's up, bro? Hey there, Redica. Looking at the expression on Ilma's face, you got that first trial in the bag. Time to learn about Z-Power. Okay. Oh, alright. So, if it's like a electric Z crystal, you give it to an electric Pokemon. Not just Pikachu, but anyone. Nice. Watch and learn, cousin! You're about to see Z, my Z power in action. A Growlithe? Don't kill it, let me catch that bitch! And please, someone give me a Rock Ruff. Everyone has one but me. If it's holding a Normalium Z and you choose a Z move, you can use a Z power. Okay. Z Leer and Breakneck Blitz. What the hell is that? Hey, Kukui! Get it, my nigga! Hit him with the dab! Get it, my nigga! Quick question, can you move in the game using the D-pad? Nope. Breakneck Blitz, what's this gonna do? It's like an ultimate tackle. Let me catch the Growlithe, bro. Hopefully there's more of them in the grass. Which totally wears you out. Using a Z... Using a Z-Power once per battle is all a team can handle. That's why you've been looking so ragged? Nah, it's like I was hit with amnesia. I forgot that I lost Little Lily somewhere on Route 3. So that means that team, um, the Aether Foundation probably caught her ass. Think you could spare me some time to look for? I can go have a look around the cave for you in case you wanted away. Thanks, cuz. Let's split up and find her. I'll probably be the one to find her. Where could Lily have gone off to? Route 3 is not that big, but it is pretty bare. Alright, let's check it out then. Actually guys, I think I'm probably going to wrap it up right now. I'll be pretty damn hungry, so I'm going to go eat. And then we'll continue afterwards. Maybe. I'm not sure exactly. I'm going to save the game here. 
Alright guys, so that was part one of this playthrough of Pokemon Moon. I love the game to death so far, as you can all tell. Um, I'm gonna see you dudes in a little bit though. So far, our team is uh, kinda messy. You know, you do. It ain't a perfect world. This ain't a perfect goddamn playthrough. But we'll see what happens. Mr. M Dub says, Etika, if you ever do, stream Kirby Planet Robobot. It's a damn good game. I played a little bit of it, liked it a lot. I gotta finish a lot of these things that I start. But alright guys, I'm gonna see you all later on. Look out for part two if you're watching this on YouTube after the fact. This shit should be somewhere within the recommended section of this video. And I will see you dudes later on, man. Sponsors, thank you all once again for the big time support. You niggas are the ones that help to make this shit happen. Can't wait to do more streams with you guys. And um, just for the guys that are watching the stream right now too, I'll talk to you all later on. Stay tuned in the sponsor group in the Discord. I'll post the next link to let you guys know when I'm streaming Moon again. But until that next time, I'll catch you on the flip side, niggas. Peace out. And on top of everything else, make sure you stay swagged out, man. You gotta be on that Team Skull shit, alright? Later! Yeah, let me see how I'm gonna do it like this. There we go. Peace, dudes.